Today I am playing OTXO. I have no idea what it stands for, but it's like Hotline Miami or Hong Kong Massacre, that kind of thing. We're playing this on PC, Steam, all that good stuff. There's, there's slowdown. Let's, let's use that. You kick, open, oh, you kick open the door. If I can speak. Can I do this without dying? Lord. What a mess. And we make a mess in the room. Did I just throw a grenade? I didn't know you had them. Maybe somebody or a landmine or something. Furry J3, Furry Jeff 27, you're first today. A relativity is here, Zarku. Miu Art, usually you get here pretty quick. Chef Dave, Spider Blair, up for red. I fornicate, Doug Fresh, link to the shaft. Functional cheese one, as opposed to unfunctional cheese, cheese that isn't functional. Meaning what, like expired cheese or something like that? I want to know the thought process behind the username Functional Cheese. Let us know. This is important. My chat and I like to talk about cheese quite a bit, so... That was a pretty bad start here. Functional Cheese. Boom. Let's see if he answered. Did he give an answer? He said, hey o." Oh. That's not an answer. <laughs> uh, hey hey o." Oh. Why am I not playing Action 52? Because I have already. I've already streamed that, and I did the Genesis version as well as the NES version, so... Otherwise, had I not done it, then I obviously would have to be playing Action 52. But since I already did it, I think I have a good excuse. Malfunctioning cheese, that would be good too. That name stresses you out? The cheese one? The ones that stress me out are the ones that are hard to read. Let me say what, what we got. We got Retro Punk 84, that's good. Feather Fund, that's good. Smoke Break Kid 95, that's good. What is yours? Rick Rick Kelt? That's not too bad. I'm trying to find a bad one. Let's see. Panic Farm, that's fine. Zappa 2001. Thank you, K Train, for the sub. Thank you, Alfred and the Fedic, for the sub. What's your Terilius MC? That one's borderline. Most of these are like pretty readable, actually, right now. When I find one later that comes up, sometimes I'll, they come up and they're like, I can't read them. Did you dress up like the guy from Action 52 for Halloween? You know what? No, I didn't. I was, um, I was the gaming gatekeeper. So I was basically like, I made up my own thing. <laughs> I was the guess I am like a gatekeeper. So I was like, I was basically like a Grim Reaper, but I had the scythe, and then I stuck a bunch of Nintendo Switch games through the scythe because they have the uh, rewind feature. So that's what I that's what I was for Halloween. It had it had very much to do with these streams, actually. Blue Ghost X22, thank you very much for the sub. This game looks awesome. Hey, games and movies. Gun. 
let's try this one. Whoa. Oh! Forsaken. It doesn't say dead. This is the first time I've died in this, actually, I think. Back to the beach. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This is a roguelike, and you go all the way back to the beginning. I was a couple, like, stages in there. Oh, my God. So this is, like, the very beginning of the game. So when I started this stream, I was, like, a few stages in, and I, I thought I was just going to, like, keep going through the whole game. I forgot. You go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so I guess I should keep track of... Also, I, I guess because you go all the way back, this is like a rogue-like. This isn't a rogue light. I think this is like a hardcore, like, you just go back to the very beginning. And I guess I could act, if I made it to the very end of the game, because I think it does end, then I would actually beat it, you know? But uh, I, for, I totally forgot this game was like that. All right. Oh, is that my name? My name is OTXO? I am the gatekeeper. <laughs> I should be this guy. I'm gonna be him for next Halloween. Oh, I'm, I'm the guy from OTXO on Steam. That's, that's what I wanna be. Do it. I'll never remember by the time that comes along. Okay, so... So you get booze in this game. Oh, yeah, I have to throw the gun down. Oh, there's coins? I wonder what the coins are for. Uh, maybe eventually items are going to become not free. Okay. Maybe I should get that for if I eventually make it to the store. I'll try to get the coin thing. And then he gives you a shot. <laughs> you smash it on the ground and then you're, then you're good to go. I feel like they made this game specifically for me. <laughs> you like Big Dick Mate? Now, you're, are you saying that you just like Big Dick in general? Or are you saying that you like my Big Dick in, in, like, in particular? Say, there's different ways I could take that. Long time lurker, love your stream. Just wondering if I sent you a mic, could you, could you wear on your shirt or something? Would you use it? Like a lav mic? I've tried them before. Um, the problem is I move around too much. Um, and it creates a lot of like rustling. Uh, so like you'll, you'll just hear like, you know, like me like moving around and stuff. But I did try that for a while and they just they don't work because I move too much I'm too crazy I'm like moving all over the place I, I've been through all that stuff but thanks for the uh, suggestion and Cybercase thank you very much for the sub I'm rewatching your Ocarina of Time playthrough are you going to beat it lol uh, if I came back to it I would just start it over from the beginning because I was like it's just, Ocarina of Time is a long game, and I don't know. I played, like, halfway through or something, or maybe more than that. I remember I got to the Water Temple, and then I hate the Water Temple. So, like, I, I think I beat it. I beat the Water Temple, and I was just like, ugh, I need a break from this game. So I took a break and started playing other things, and then I just never went back to it. Because um, the other thing is, like, I've beaten it before a couple times, and it's just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm good. Um, but yeah, maybe at some point I'll play it again, but like, uh, I don't know. There's some parts in that game that I don't really like that much, and then it, it kind of drags it down a little bit for me, but then there's certain parts that I, that I love, so it's kind of, I don't know. It's sort of all over the place with that game for me.
I do, I think I do, uh, in general though, like I do like Ocarina of Time. It's not my favorite, you know, by any means, but like, I, I like it. It's definitely like, like pretty good. It's, it's not my favorite though. I like the forest temple a lot. Like that's probably my favorite part of the game. That, uh, actually, well, no, the, uh, the fire temple is my favorite. Th those two, and I think they come back to back. It's like forest temple, fire temple. That's all I really need. Once I do those, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm good. Because I don't think I really like the other dungeons like as much that come later. Like for me, that's kind of like the highlight of the game, or those parts. So then, you know, I, I go to play the game, and then I'm just kind of like, you get you, once I get past the fire temple and that cool like dragon, and then the megaton hammer and all that, and then after that, I'm kind of like, eh. Do I get my health back? Guess we'll find out. Yeah, you do. Okay, good. Oh shit! Jeez! Oh, I didn't even get him. Dead here. You know, I'll try to do in between rounds. I'll, that's when I'll read the chat. Is this clear? This, no. There's gotta be. Oh, there's a bunch more, huh? Put him on the screen. Ah, I ran out. That's not good. Oof. This is the last guy. Ah, ah. Screwed this up. Oh, I don't, even, I don't even have a gun. What am I doing? Give me a gun. There we go. Oops. Do I get full health back? Yeah, you do. Okay. Uh, Speed Punk 1996, thank you for the sub. And now Mike is playing the Hotline Miami sequel. Well, there is there is an official one. There's Hotline Miami too. I heard people don't really like that one as much. 
I haven't played it myself yet, though. <laughs> it's, it's just trying to get under my skin. Why does it feel... What does it feel like to be so bad at Caverns of Mars Recharged? Oh, it feels great. Um, I, I haven't played it all that much. Uh, I liked what I played, and... Um, I wasn't, I wasn't very good at it. You're not wrong. Um, I, that said, I haven't really played all that much of it. Uh, I, I probably, I would come back and play more of it. I, I, I liked it. Um, there's other recharged games that I liked more so though than that one. Like, I think I liked the Asteroids one more. I think Centipede was my favorite of them. Um, so I think the one of the problems that goes into me not being so as good at that one is it wasn't really one of my favorites. Um, it was okay though. It was pretty good. I'd, I'd play it again. Uh, Data's doink. Thank you for the sub. Hey Mike, have you seen the Final Fantasy Renaissance fan game? From what I've seen, it looks fantastic. You know, no, I haven't. But, um, is it a, uh, like, JRPG type of game where you can, like, get to a boss and then it's like, oh, I died on the boss. And then if you're not good enough on the boss, you can, like, grind for 10 minutes or 20 minutes and then you can beat him because you, you grinded? Does it have the same problem that all the other games have and nobody ever decides to fix that problem? I'd like to know if it's like that. But you know what? It's a fan game, so maybe they thought of that and fixed that problem. <laughs> Fix grinding. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it, fans. That's what Games and Movies says. He says, Fix it! That's how I feel. Fix it. It's a problem with all those games. Maybe I'd play more JRPGs if it wasn't just like that. It's like so stupid. It's like, okay, I get to the boss. Uh oh, I died. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, I grinded for like two minutes. Oh, now I'm strong enough. Now I beat it. It's like, it's fucking dumb. That's why I like shit like this. It's like, you know what happens when you, you know what happens when you die? You go all the way back to the beginning of the game. The game says, hey, fuck you. So it's challenging instead of just like, what if in this game I die and then it, send me, it sends me to the stage before and then like I can, and then if I beat the stage before again, my energy bar doubles or something. It's like, it's just, I wouldn't want to play this game if it was like that, you know? But, but they forgive, they forgive that kind of crap with Final Fantasy because, because why? Because a lot of people just play it because they want to read the stories and they like the characters, they want to dress up as the characters and whatever. Fine, that's great. But can the gameplay be, like, well done? I'll be, like, all on board with those games when they, when they finally, like, fix that issue. They're never going to, though. Because it's a successful franchise and no nobody else complains about it, it seems like. Or not many. And if it's, a, like, a minority minority complaint, like not many people complain about it, then they're just going to be like, well, well, most people aren't bothered by it, so I guess we're not going to fix it. Because they don't need to, because they're going to make their money off of it, so what the hell do they care? So I don't want to fucking play that game.
just don't grind. No. Fix the game. Because if I, if I can, like... Then I, ha I have to make the game how I want it to be. It, then it's on me to make the game how I want. No. That should be on the fucking developers to make the game. You know? How it should be. Now, now it's my job to fucking do the job for them. Fuck that. They're making enough money with that shit, they can fucking fix it. You guys noticed, by the way, I didn't stream yesterday. Anybody want to take a guess why I didn't stream yesterday? Who can, who can take a guess why there was no stream yesterday? <laughs> Chubby Catfish got it, yeah. Because it was Mario Day. Get it, by the way? March 10th. Mar... 10, Mario, get it? Isn't that clever? That's why I like, yo, this is why I like Super Mario Brothers 3 is great, and like back then, because they didn't invent that crap yet. We lived in a better generation, for real. That's the proof right there that we lived in a better generation, because <laughs> they didn't do that crap. Oh my God. Restock bar, blood donation. Rifle kills heal you a little bit. I mean, that would be great if I had the money for it. I just save up my money for that. I'm just gonna save my money. I want that, I want the blood donation. That'd be great. And also back then, you know what, another Mario thing that was great, the, the stupid Mar-10 Mario, that didn't exist. But also, Mario didn't speak. That was great too. Oh, so now I don't have a gun. What am I going to do? Kick this guy? I don't even know what I'm going to do. Wait, can I go back? No. I guess I'm kicking him? I'm good, I got it. Oh God. Jeez. I had to do the door kill thing. There's another guy? Oh, 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 uh oh. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm out, I'm out of ammo. Oh God, oh God. Kick him, kick him! Look at my health! Oh. One more shot, I'm done. How many guys are left in here? Oh God. I have literally no help. 
Any mistakes, I'm dead. Then it's back to the beach. Did they do that on purpose to reference the movie? Somehow I feel like they it doesn't it's not a reference to the movie. They don't know what that is. I'm oh I'm dead. Oh my god. What a mess. Back to the beach. <laughs> I want to put up the thing. Hang on a second. play this game, this is what I think of. Please work. There you go. That's what I think of every time this comes up. Who do we got here in this movie? Frankie Avalon and Annette Funicello. It, almost, it looks like Scott Evil, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, by the way, Inspector Gadget <laughs> and um, Gilligan Pee Wee. This is what I think of. Does it say their names on the poster? Can't read it. Hey dude. Hey dude. Dudes and dudettes. How about we just leave that? Can I leave that on the screen for the whole stream? What if I put it over here? Will it block everything? Hold on, let's say. Hey, where did my music go? Did I just break the game? Why is there no music? Oh, it's because I'm in the bar. Never mind. The bar doesn't have any music. Bloodweiser. Get it? Catching aerial droplets? Aerial blood droplets heals you slightly. Bullets move faster. I guess. Anything about healing is good. Yeah, you see like how it's... That's totally gonna block stuff. I better take it off. <laughs> Alright. Oof, that's a nice gun.
keys. No, no, no. <laughs> ah. Ding dong. That didn't kill him? Come on. The door kills are great. Be by the door. Is that enough? Uh, not really. Hold on, I gotta finish all these guys down here. This guy looks like he's dancing in the music. Okay. I like this gun. Whoa! Did they tell you how many you're getting? I wish it would tell me, like, okay, you've done three or four, you know, stages. Maybe when you get to the shop or something, they tell you. The room, rooms, floors, whatever you want to call it in this game. Uh oh, no. These like spread guns are great. Like that one. I like that gun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, see that's almost empty, so it's like let's get it the next thing. I need to make sure I'm picking up a gun for the next stage is part of my problem, I think. Like that. What's really good though? No. Maybe this. So do I go to the bar? Now I go to the bar. So you throw this down, talk to the guy. 
Just give me the word and I'll pour you a glass of something strong. Have you heard about the bird? Everybody knows the bird is the word. Brembo Baggins, thank you very much for the sub. What's going on? Hong Kong 97 remake looks dope. Yeah, right? Yeah, this is it pretty much, right? The only place the 90s vampire nightclub music doesn't play is in the bar. Ironic. That's true. This should be the place with the music. <laughs> Not the rest of the buildings. It's like, why is that music playing? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, Donna Adams was on the poster. Mike, if you like brutally hard JRPGs, I think Fantasy Star 2 is your jam. Would that be what it is? Okay. Not to find out, I'd like to know what the difference is with that. Like, what about it is, uh, I guess the gameplay is different. Uh, let's say coin thing reload I wonder if when you buy this all this stuff if it all stacks I don't have the money anyway to get anything I'm gonna have to like last longer Somebody said Mike Monday. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Mike Monday. That's right. <laughs> I just abbreviated it is all. So I'll be back in February, right? Well, I was. I was back in February. It's Mike Monday. Also, I didn't say what, which February. It's gonna be. By the way, if you want to know which February, that uh, we'll be we'll be back. James and Mike Mondays. We'll be back. February, twenty eighty five. I forgot to mention that in the in our update video. I forgot to I forgot to mention what year. That's that was on me. It was twenty. February 1985. Yeah, it would be like Back to the Future. Uh, 2085. February 2085. We'll be back every week. <laughs> now you have a date. This guy's a little too far away for me to hit him. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Oof. I didn't even 
have to slow down on there. That was dumb. That was dumb of me. Go back to 1985, yes please. Wouldn't that be great? What would you do if you could go back to 1985? John from Neighbor Nerds has huge giant balls. That is true. That is true. Um, I think, I feel like him and I might do a good show together. I have a giant cock. He has enormous balls. So I feel like him and I could really do a good show together. Now it's not gonna have anything to do with uh, video games though. It's gonna be all just uh, sucking and fucking. Mondays. <laughs> Mondays only. <laughs> <laughs> Will Elmo and Ernie be there? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, come on. What a dumb fucking question. Obviously, Ernie is not gonna fucking be there. I've never heard a fucking question. You think he's gonna miss out on that? straight to the arcades. Oh, that's what you would do in 1985? Yeah, actually, good answer. Totally true. That is, that is for sure. Sound like Marge Simpson there for a second. Or maybe, uh, no, that was Marge. I was gonna say like Patty and Selma, but. I guess either. Oh my god! There's a lot of things like this that I get stuck on. Like this is like a little planter or something. There's a lot of background objects that are tripping me up. Whoa! And once again, dance to the music. to go quick. Uh, we gonna have a boss here or something? Like, if you think you can make it, you're wrong. Okay. Oh, dude, I didn't know there was bosses. Hey. 
had no idea. Um, I don't have any more guns. What do I do? Oh, does it like, what did it reload it? Okay, so you, you throw it down and pick it up. Uh, so, or so I thought. I guess you gotta get, like, give it a minute. understand this like gun thing okay it's like what it, like, what do you got like reload it a couple times or something i didn't understand i don't understand i think you're supposed to wait what is saying go left go right you just wait you don't even have to wait you don't need to throw it just wait unlimited reload yeah but I guess I'm supposed to like, see I would try to reload it and then it didn't give me more ammo, but then I reloaded it again and it did. So I think you're, there's like a cooldown on it or something. Well, I'll try it again when I get there again. I don't know. I, I didn't even real. I didn't even know there was bosses in this game. How about that? Press the reload button. I did. I pressed the reload button and then it didn't give me more ammo. But then I put, then I pressed it again and again and again. And then like after like the third or fourth time I hit the reload, then it like gave me more. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. Maybe reload takes a few seconds. It, it's either that it takes a few seconds or it takes a few tries or I don't know. Figure it out eventually. So how many was that? That until I got to the boss was it? Let's count. So this is this is one. Let's try to count. Help me remember to count because I'm gonna forget. Let's see how many screens there are before a boss. It's like six or something. Actually, see how long that reload animation takes? Let's say, okay, right now. Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> right, well, here, wait, let me shoot something. What button is it? It's... I thought it was square. Oh, there's an, I have no extra. Here, wait. Okay, so now I can do it. Here, flash. It is square. They're not, some of these I can't reload. Okay, let's try now. Oh, it says I have one, so it should reload now. And now. See, that took that long to reload that. So, 
maybe that's why in the boss fight. So maybe when I hit it, he's like trying to do it. So it takes like two seconds to re maybe that's the problem. It takes a minute to reload it. I was trying to, I was like being too hasty with it, I guess. So I have one magazine, right? So I can do this. Oh no, it's square. See how long that took? It takes a while. I didn't realize. All right, so that was that was just the first one, right? So now this is the second one, I think. gun can blow the door away. I didn't realize that. I think that was the first time I noticed that I did that. That's, that's probably how I died before. I didn't realize the gun was doing that. What is this thing? What? Oh, it's like a dart. I want to do that. Oh, I missed! <laughs> Damn it. Can I still go get that? It's in there. I want to see if I can get it. Ah-ha! I did it. up here. Okay, so this is the third one now. Do I go to the bar now? Nope, not yet. up with you real quick. Peter Wiseman, thank you very much for that sub. Go Go Gadget sub, thank you. I thought you were watching the Oscars last night. Were they on? <laughs> I didn't know they were on. Did that happen? <laughs> I have no idea. No, I didn't even know that it was a, happening. That's how out of it I am. I watched, what did I watch? I watched The Twilight Zone. I watched an episode of The Twilight Zone and I watched... Um, what did I watch? I watched something else. I was not watching the Oscars. I had I didn't even know it was on. It did happen. Did it? Who hosted? I don't even know. Like, I have no idea. Not that I would watch it anyway.
Godzilla got an award? Oh, did he go up and give a speech? Maybe I should have watched it. Was there a guy in a Godzilla costume that w and he went on stage and accepted the award? That'd be pretty great. I would watch for that. Oh, because of that new movie, right? I didn't see it. I don't like that he doesn't... I don't like that he's not wearing a costume. When is, he, when is Godzilla going to wear a rubber suit again? That's what I liked about it. When is Batman going to be, like, a little bit out of shape again? Like, Adam West? There's an episode... There's, like... Okay, so you had, like, the Joker, right? And the Penguin and all the villains and all that. On the Batman series, there was a lot of other villains. Um, like, Vincent Price played Egghead. Remember him? And there's, like, all these, like, other villains. There was an episode with the cowboy uh, Shane... And he's in a couple episodes, I think, but one of them, Batman and Robin are in this bar, like an old saloon, and you know how they would like punch eat the punch stuff. They, would, I gotta like, I gotta like get this clip and put it on stream or something. But you know, they punch and this is pow, bam, all, you know, kapow and all that. There was this one where he's like, like one of his things is like he fell down on the ground. And he's like scooting his ass along the the ground, and like that was one of his moves. I want. I have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to find that. I'm gonna write that down to try to find that. If I find it, I will get a clip and I will put it on the stream another day. That's why I like Batman. I like when he drags his ass along the ground. <laughs> they got rid of everything that I cared about. An exploding shark was pulling my leg. Here, what can I get? Seven hundred. That'd be great if I could afford it. All the good things are super expensive. Guess we're waiting still. Oh, Godzilla did go on stage and he blasted a couple people. That'd be great. Godzilla goes up on the stage and uses an, his atomic breath on the entire crowd and all the judges and everything, and then that's it. And then there's no more Oscars. I, that's the one I'll watch. And that's how the, all, the Oscars ends, like all of the Oscars. And there's never another one. I'll tune in for that. They want me to tune in. Here's what's up. Like, Star Wars, right? Here's how they can get me into the theater. They can make any Star Wars movie they want. It could be anything. I don't care. The, any plot, anything they want to do. The movie could even be six hours long. Whatever. Do whatever you want. But here's the deal. It has to be the last Star Wars thing ever. You can't make anything ever again that's Star Wars. This is it. You want me in the theater? I will buy the ticket. I'll buy the ticket for $100. If I never have to hear about Star Wars ever again, I will pay that money. You get it. $100 ticket, I'll go. And then that's it. You can't do anything ever again. You have to shut up about it forever. No more movies, no more merchandise, no more nothing. That's it. I 
don't care what the quality of the movie is. It could literally be a piece of dog shit with a Darth Vader helmet. Like, I don't care. I will sit there and I will watch the entire thing. They can do that for all the super... Oh, every other superhero movie, too. You want me to go see the next Superman movie? Piece of dog shit with a cape for six hours. Hundred bucks. I'm going. Then I never get to hear about Superman ever again. That's my deal. You want me in the theater? That's how you can get me. Superman flies into the sun and dies. Great, that's that's fine. And then it, and then the next six the next six and a half hours can just be the sun, just like you know, and that's it. Nothing else happens. But you got you gotta sit there and watch it. But that's what happens in the first minute. Superman just lifts off the ground. He flies into space and he flies into the sun and dies. <laughs> And then it's just a shot of space for six hours, and it cost me a hundred dollars. But that I'll I'll pay the price if I never have to hear about the fucking Superman fucking shit again. That will be a well-paid ticket. Make it worth my while. And that they're allowed to do that for every franchise that exists. I will go. I will go to all your fucking movies. And then after I see them all, then you, then I never have to hear about all these stupid fucking franchises ever again. They would make a lot more money off of me than they're making anyway. Like the Flash, right? Let's say, like, I didn't fucking see that. They made zero fucking dollars off of me for that. So there you go. Make a fucking Flash movie, six hours long. Flash, uh, I don't know, they, they fucking, uh, they shit into his fucking mouth and he fucking explodes. And that's a black screen for six hours. Great. <laughs> Bad news, the next Star Wars movie is 19 years later with Rey remaking the Jedi Order. What happened to those uh, fucking, those beasts? Those like camel things? What happened to those? Remember when the end of, we're talking about Jedi Order. Remember the end of uh, Last Jedi? And then there was like those fucking camel things with the ears? Remember those fucking things? What about, what happened with that? They forgot about that, huh? You guys know what I'm fucking talking about. Well, what the fuck was that all about anyway? Does anybody even understand what the fuck that was supposed to be? Stupidest fucking movie I ever fucking saw in my life. <laughs> I want them to follow up on the fucking space camels. Like, what the fuck? What happened? Come on! You fucking teasing the the end of the movie. The last shot is the bunch of, is all the fucking space camels, right? Or the like the last part of the movie. It's like, all right, well I guess these space camels are important now. What happens to them? And then you go to the next movie, and then they, they didn't even have the space camels in the next movie, did they? I don't think they did. So why why why, why were they making that a thing? 
Oh, we're just gonna not, not follow up on the whole space camel thing. Okay. Well, why the fuck did you show him to me then? What space camels? What do you mean what? I fucking will show you what space camels. Maybe donkey. Donkey would be a better... Here, I, there's a fucking picture of it right here. The whole fucking ending of the fucking movie is these fucking space donkeys. Space donkey. And nobody even wants to acknowledge this or talk about it. I'm gonna fucking be the one. The whole fucking movie is nothing but space donkeys. Like, that's all I fucking saw on the screen, the whole fucking movie. These fucking stupid things. They're riding around on these things, or I don't even know what the fuck the deal is. The whole fucking movie is there's these fucking things going around. What the fuck was the deal with those? I'm in the theater, I'm looking at that fucking thing, and I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Where, like, what? Like, what? Like, I remember seeing, like, Empire Strikes Back, and then they fucking make it th th this shit. And it's like, all right, well, where are you going with the space donkey thing? Where is this plot going? And then they don't fucking even follow up on it. Then you go to the next movie, and then there's nothing about the fucking space donkeys. They go, oh, yeah, that. Right, see? I'm not making it up. What? Also, like, I don't know what to call them. Oh, yeah, wasn't that the casino? Yeah, there's, like, a casino, and then there's a bunch of space donkeys running around, and then the money is going... All, there's The space donkey is smashing into the slot machines. The, you, know, you, you know, the slot machines in Star Wars. The slot machines in the casino in Star Wars. And then the space donkeys are running all over, or some shit. And then there's the fucking guy, the other guy, and then they get to the ship, and the guy's like, hey, hey. He's like talking like that, and I'm like, I don't want to listen to a guy that talks like that. I don't want to look at space donkeys. And then the end part of the movie, the very, like the last scene of the movie, is all, is, has a bunch of these fucking things. And then I'm like, all right, well, I guess those things are important. Guess that in the next movie, we're going to see a whole bunch all about these fucking things. Because think about how uh, Empire Strikes Back ends. What do you, it's like, you know, Luke and Leia, and they're in front of the window, you know, the whole thing. It's like, well, the next movie is, is going to be about Luke and Leia, because they're showing that this important shot, you know. And the next movie, guess what happens? It, the whole movie is about Luke and Leia. And you're like, okay, well, they're following up on the characters that they show, the last big important moment. The last big important thing that they showed was, like, this donkey, and he's taking a shit. And they're, like, mopping up or something. There's a bunch of, like, uh... I think there's a bunch of kids mopping up, mopping the floor. Well, why are they mopping the floor? They're mopping the floor because these things are probably shat all over the place. Like, ser like, seriously. Somebody explain to me what the fuck the space donkeys were. Like, I would like a real explanation. Because, like, a lot of these people in the chat are just, like, you know, like, ha, ha space donkeys. They, they jizzed on the floor and whatever. What is the action? If the director was, like, sitting here, what would, why would, what would the reason be for real? You have a Star Wars movie that costs a bazillion dollars. You're going you're gonna to just have a fucking space donkey on the screen? I don't get it. That's, this is what they fucking did with Star Wars. And then you got these defenders that come along, you know. Oh, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> and every time I go on YouTube, all my recommendations are all Star Wars channels. And some shit comes up, and it's like the lightsaber and this and that. There's all these fucking Star Wars channels. And every time I see one, I, there's, little, there's three little dots, and I go to it, and I go, do not recommend. And then it still pops up anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter can't fucking get rid of it because YouTube's fucking broken. You know, if I, like, you should be able to type in things that you don't want to see. Let's say you don't want to see me. You'd be like, 
think, you know, there should be a fucking page. I don't want to fucking see Mike Matei. Click the fucking button, and then my shit never shows up. Guess what? Well, I don't ever want to fucking see Star Wars, right? I don't want to see it. I used to love Star Wars as a kid. I hate, fucking can't stand it now. I don't ever want to see it when I log into the fucking thing. I don't ever want to see anything about fucking sports. I want to be able to type in, don't fucking show me anything with sports. Send. And then when I go on YouTube, it'll fucking... You know what I want to see? I want them to show me games like this. I want my recommendations to be cool fucking games that I want to fucking play. Not fucking the, not the fucking space donkey. Them stupid ass fucking platform. You think they could fucking add that? Multi-billion dollar fucking platform. They can't add a fucking function to do something like that. You know why? Because they're all fucking getting cups of coffee. I've been to YouTube space before. I've talked to the actual fucking people. Here's another fucking shot. I talked to the actual people. They're just sipping their fucking Starbucks all fucking day. Doing jack shit. How about add a fucking function so I don't have to look at the fucking space donkey every time I log into your stupid fucking platform? How about that? Go, go, go get my mocha cappuccino. I bet you fucking do. I bet you gotta fucking get that. Because God forbid you fucking do anything. All right, here. This is like legit how it is. Which one am I gonna use? I'm gonna use this shit. Let's go. I just got back. What are we angry about now? Oh, so now I'm supposed to reiterate everything that I just said for the last 15 fucking minutes because one fucking guy didn't wasn't here. Fucking wa watch it later then. You can fucking watch the stream later and you go to this fucking part in the stream and you can go rewatch it. I'm not going to fucking repeat everything. Uh, let's say I fucking repeat every goddamn thing I just said. The people that were here, then they got to fucking hear the same thing twice because of you. I don't th fucking think so. They should, like, they should suffer because you were taking a shit. Now I understand this at least, you gotta... This is fucking hard, by the way. Fuck me. Come on, yeah! Okay, so the problem before is all you have to do is reload it. I was just not being patient enough. You have to just fucking wait for it to reload. That's literally all it is. I was just being fucking impatient. I thought you had to like throw it down, pick it up. I didn't fucking get it. That's it. You just reload it, but you gotta fucking wait. I didn't realize that the wait, that the reload takes a long time. That was the problem. That's all it is. It's, it's totally fine. Fires a bullet from your boot. Hmm. That seems all right. I sh that, I should get that. That's pretty good. That gives me like an extra chance. I'm gonna get that. And a second of invulnerability to be like to be able to get away and like get a gun again or something. That's pretty good. Uh, Max Power 815, thank you very much for the sub. 
Mike is mad I told him to play Mario on March 10th. Dude, I fucking play Mario games all year long, and then people, you know, like, oh, here comes Mike with another Mario hack. It's like, yeah, I don't know. The people make Mario hacks, and I think they're cool, so every once in a while I play a fucking Mario hack. But on March 10th, fuck that. The, I fucking protest the fucking idea of a fucking stupid, you gotta have a fucking day. Fuck you. Rock you, man. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. And it doesn't mean that I don't like Mario. I still like Mario. I just hate that there has to be a fucking day for it. You had a little cute day with a little cute name. Go fuck yourself. What the fuck is that? Is that an, the, oh, we have like fucking animals in here now. Oh my god. Like alligators or something? Nice, he was the last one. Yeah. Walk over here. Will he? Probably not, right? Ah! Now I'm in trouble. Okay, is that everybody in the big room? Why is it like getting like all like shiny or whatever like this? Oh, it's, is it because I'm standing under this light? Can I destroy the light? I even fixed it. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand why it's doing that. Oh, well. No, see, it's still doing it. I wish it would just look like this. You know? What if I walk down here? 
I don't get it. Does anybody know why? Oh, it's steam. Oh, is this supposed to be like a bathhouse? Oh, duh. I didn't realize that that's, I wasn't really looking at the background. Okay, it's like a bathhouse. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, it makes sense then. That's why when you're like in this room, it's not really. But once I walk out there, if you're near that water, it'll be. So there's alligators in a bathhouse? It's weird. Now what? Movie? We're renting a mo now we're renting a movie? I don't even know how deep into the mansion I must go. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. It could be infinite for all I know. Right? Rent the Adams family. Raul Julia. Whoa. That's what I was gonna. I I thought you could rent the Adams family, the '90s Adams family movie in this game. What the heck? That's the review I'm gonna leave. I thought that this game was cool, but when I found out you couldn't rent the Adams family, then I said it was dumb. That's my professional critique. Uh-oh, I'm in a lot of trouble here. I can't even see my life gauge. I don't like this bathhouse. I don't want to be in the bathhouse anymore. Damn, these things are quick. God. All right, if I can just kill these last two dudes. Oh, I didn't know there was Reptile. Oh my god, I just barely made that. Can I have something, please? Can I afford anything now? More ammo. I mean, that's good. I mean... Wait, blood donation. Rifle kill heals you a little bit. I'm going to take that. I want that one. This is fun. I like this game.
It came out last April. You never heard of it. Oh, this game? Is that when it came out? Let me, let's see. Is that true? When did this come out? Yeah, April 2023. I only found out about it just recently, too. I like these kind of games. Somebody in the somebody in the chat here recommended it. See, I listen to you guys. It just has to be a game that I want to play. <laughs> That's the thing. sucks about these alligators is they're not dropping weapons the controls are really good too by the way like I think you can even change them, like, even if you don't like them, so... Whoa! <laughs> Just went crazy. pointing to the enemies I wish it would like tell me exactly if, if there's one arrow does that mean there's one enemy or does that just mean there's enemies in that direction oh god oh maybe maybe it, one arrow means one enemy hold on let me grab a weapon anything better than this I mean this is decent with that. Hmm, sure, I guess. This is getting difficult now. <sighs> now I'm gonna have a problem. I have to make it through this whole level now. Of course, there's got to be another bathhouse. Like, come on, how many of these bathhouses can there be? I don't like. I, I get like they're putting it in for challenge. It makes it harder to see, but it's.
Gotta get him. Oh god, this is open too! I wasn't ready for that. God, oh god, oh god. I was switching guns often. Room's cleared nine. Oh, it tells you at the end. That's when. I mean, that's the main important thing, I guess. This is how many rooms. Oh, man. Is it the beach? Or is it after the first boss? That's what, that's what we gotta say. Oh, they start you a after the boss? Okay, so it's not the beginning. Wait, is that true? Recharging shield that can block a single bullet. I mean, how about that? Uh, Dan, thank you for gifting a sub to Pop Rocks. Cucaracha with an AK-47. Sigmund Kovacs. Case the Face. Big Steve 3102. You guys all got gift subs from Dan. Thank you very much, Dan. Appreciate that. We got shield. Speaking of shield, I got a thing about shields that bothers me. I got a, I got a Star Trek question for you. All right, you guys remember Star Trek Six? There's the Enterprise, and it's getting shot by um, the Klingons. They're shooting photon torpedoes, and Scotty's like. Shields are weakening, Captain! Right? But, like, there are no shields. And when you, when you watch Star Trek... I, well, because I, I've watched the, the original series of Star Trek, and they'll, they'll say deflectors up or shields up or whatever. But then you... There is... They don't show shields. But then when Star Trek The Next Generation came out, you have the Enterprise-D, and they actually show, like, a bubble around the ship, and that, may, like, makes a lot more sense as shields because it's like this shield bubble. So when like a photon torpedo or something hits the Enterprise, like it hits the shield and then you see it hit the shield. But on the original, se so on the original series though, on Star Trek, when they go, you know, oh, shields are weakening. Is this, are, are the shields just like wrapped around the Enterprise? Are they like in the shape of the ship? And that's why you don't see them? Because you don't actually see shields. Let me know if you know the answer to that. They show it a little diagram of the shields going up in Star Trek 2. Yeah, they do. And it seem and I remember the little dot dot dot. It seems like it does like actually go around the shape of the ship. I guess they're just like invisible and they're like they're like on they're like on the hull or something. That's what I always figured. But I just wanted like if somebody knew more about it, like confirmation on that cuz I always thought it was weird. The answer is they could afford to torch the Enterprise model for the movies where they didn't want to do that for the TV show. <laughs> no, I thought I always thought it was a, a special effects cost reason to like the reality of it. But I meant as far as like the lore goes. All right, since I'm doing another run, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break for a minute because I have to. I'm going gonna go through a whole other run. So the the furthest uh, I made it so far was nine floors, and we we fought a boss. I don't know if I'm gonna have to fight that same like centipede boss again, or or what. So we'll we'll see what happens. But all right, uh, quick break, and I will be uh, right back.
Oh, there's a fucking crowbar. Dude, hang on a second. I like crowbars. <laughs> I'll smash somebody's face with this fucking crowbar. This is great. Oh my god! It's like killed them all. Dude, no, fuck that. Give me the crowbar back. Dude, I wanna do. Let's do a fucking crowbar run. Oh, now there's like dogs and shit. Oh, he's throwing miles off cot. There's so much happening right now. Oh my god. Oh, you piece of shit! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Fuck! Alright, there was way too much happening. Let's go baseball bat. Whoa! Can we do this? Yeah. Thumper? Let's see if it's any more badass than the rabbit from Bambi. Come on. I don't know. Bambi might be better. Oh, it's fucking gone already? Yeah, fuck. Bambi's better. I co oh, I cooked Miss Piggy. <laughs> I, I lit her on fucking fire. Dude, I'm gonna fucking... I'm dead. Okay. Blow it up! Shit! <sighs> Come on. I mean, that's the gun to have on this. Fuck. Oh my god! Oh! I could have had it! God damn it! Now I just gotta stay alive. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Well, there's health, so I should be alright. Crowbar, motherfucker! Crowbar, motherfucker! Oh! So close on this. Come on. Come on. Got you, you fucking cocksucker. Ha 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 ha. Fuck. It's a little health. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck you. www.pornhub.fart. My favorite place to get games. Ha! Can I blow that up? Mm. But up, up, but up, up, but up, up. Ow, motherfucker! Oh, ow, fuck! Oof. All right, come on now, come on. Oh! Come on, come on! Oh, it's getting faster. Fuck. Come on! Yeah! Oh! Fuck you. That was fun. I like this game. <laughs> this is a good game. Is this Goonies 2? Oh. Can we not talk about Goonies 2? That would be awesome. I ban him. <laughs> yeah, you're banned forever. Forever and ever and ever. Oh! Ah! That's what I get. That's what I get for joking about banning. That's what I get. Oh! Wow, Ooh, I'm really paying. 
for that one. What? <laughs> Look at this crazy fucker. <laughs> Hey, motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get. Take a little of that. Dude, what is this fucking guy doing? Oh my god. Holy shit. This guy's fucking going crazy. Okay. I didn't know you were allowed to do that. Motherfucker. Piece of shit. Ah! 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 <laughs> you cocksucker. Fucking shove this up your your anus. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna shove this in your anus. <laughs> Fucking do this. <laughs> oh my god. All right, dude. I love when he's fucking doing that, and I can run after him like that. Fucking, that's what he gets. What you get? Fuckers. The Super Mac and Death Christ. Oh my god. That was fucking close. Oh, this is the mother motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker. Piece of shit! I'm so fucking upset about that. Remote charge, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's neat too. Oh, this fucking cocksucker. 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 Motherfucker. Cocksucking motherfucker! Ah! When Mario doubles up on the meatballs and parm, he drops those super ass bombs. You're not wrong about that. Let's get one of these. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, did I get it? Uh, not yet. Wait. Oh, what is happening? Super Shredder? Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Game on. All right, motherfucker. Oh, she did it twice. Fuck me. Oh, is this the beginning? God damn it. Well, that fucking got a lot harder. Fuck. Eat my shit. And some people were asking what was the game that I was playing on the break. That was a game called Hunt Down, which was... That game was, was really good. Um, that's like a... Uh, I don't know if that's on Switch or anything like that, but I know I played it on Steam PC. Uh, so I liked that game quite a bit. So, at, But at the game we're playing today is OTXO, and that is what we're doing. Okay. How do I play True Lies on Super Nintendo or Genesis? I'm sure you have 
That is top down perspective like this. There's levels like in Demolition Man, uh, top down perspective. So, yeah. Uh, I have a little bit, yeah. Is that the one where there's like, there's like waiters and like Tom Arnold and all that? I'm pretty sure I have uh, a little bit. I should probably try to play it more. I've tried it a little bit here and there, but uh, genetic jackhammer BQ. Thank you very much for that sub as well. All right, gonna jump back into this. What about playing Desert Bus right now? Um, I feel like that's a meme game. And it was funny in like 2011. And I'm like past that now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 2011 is a little late. Maybe like, maybe that would have been funny in like 2016. I don't know. It's just kind of like, we've, it de like we've heard about it. Desert bus. We all know what it is. Ha ha, you drive the bus. You know, it's just like, I'm good. This performs a little differently than Hong Kong Massacre. So like you can, okay, I'm gonna demonstrate something real quick. Now I could be wrong about this, but, so right here I do the slowdown and then I can roll. But it seems like how this works is when you roll, let me try it again. When you roll, you can't, unless I'm wrong, you can't seem to fire. Where Hong Kong 97, when you're rolling, you can also fire, and that's a big part of Hong Kong 97, and I think that's something about the controls I think I like a little bit better about Hong Kong 97. I'm having a lot of fun with this, but I feel like that's a little bit better in that game. I wish they would update that and make, I swear to God, like I wish they would make a sequel or I wish they would remaster it because the graphics are like a little outdated. If they did a, that, actually, I don't even want them to, they don't even need to make a sequel. I just want them to remaster it, because the graphics look kind of, eh, at this point with it. So that's the problem with that game. They're very, uh, they're, they're dated in not a very good way. If they remastered that with better graphics, I would I'd really be happy about it. Cause it's a good game. It's just that's the problem. It was probably it was probably like acceptable when it got released, but now it's kind of like. Eh. And that tell that you know what though, this game's gonna age better because this just has this very like simplistic look and that is something to be said for games that have a very like simplistic style you know very just like pixelated pixel graphics it's like they're never they're kind of in a different realm they're almost sort of timeless so it's it's smart to make a game you know just be very very simple how, how this is or how a lot of games are because then they're going to age better If your tea is too hot, just pour some brandy into it. That's a method. It's true. 
Do I like Ms. Pac-Man Maze Madness on PS1? I played it on Nintendo 64, and like back when Nintendo 64 was current, and um, I remember thinking it was like okay. I didn't like dislike it, but I didn't like love it. It was like it was fine. It's one of one of those games that are, that are just you know it's fine. Nothing amazing, nothing, nothing bad. Just sort of like a mediocre. So it's all right though. I mean, I play it again, I guess. I did not play the PlayStation version of it, though. I'm assuming it's basically the same thing. A lot of those were. A lot of times, the only difference would be like the cutscene. Cutscenes were usually a lot better on PlayStation. So that's one reason I'm not really like opting to to roll all that much because it's like you roll and then you fire, as opposed to the Hong Kong '97 rolling and firing at the same time. So I kind of wish it was like that. So if you're wondering why I'm not rolling a lot, that's why. I'm going to guess that nobody was even thinking about that. <laughs> They're all too busy masturbating to be thinking about what I'm doing with the controls to be realistic, to be real. Ding dong. Not as much as, not as much product placement in this one. Why did that? Did Hong Kong Massacre have a bunch of that? I don't remember. Uh, it might have. I mean, maybe that's how they paid for the game. You know. You're thinking about the shields on the Enterprise A? Well, that's more important than any of this, so that's fine. I approve. <laughs> that's ten times more important than anything that's going on here. Because this game, I'm having fun. I'm having fun with it. And I, I like it. I don't know. I, I think this is a good game. But like, after, you know, once I do a stream of this, or if I beat it, that would be it. You know, I'd probably beat this done with this game. But the Enterprise Shields, like, we'll be talking about that forever. The Enterprise Shields are forever. This is like a stream. You know? It's, it's two different things. Target that explosion and fire. <laughs> yeah. What if you just wanted to grope your balls instead? You could do that. Nobody said that you couldn't do that. You mean just sort of like, uh, just hold like just like hold your balls it's fine man just remember nobody said that you couldn't do that you're upset that we were making an assumption that it was masturbation 
and you're like, hey man, I'm just holding on, on my nuts. Is that, is that the problem? I, I, okay, you know what? I think that calls for an apology. I, I want to apologize to you. You know, I, I was wrong and you were right. I think I think I should apologize for that. That is true. <laughs> Bill's big one. Your bullets are slightly larger. Um, I don't have the money for it though, and then the scope. I I would totally get Bill's big one, but it's it's a little too pricey. So I'm going to have nothing, unfortunately. I thought Mike would hate this game. Why? Why do you think I would hate it? I would love to know why you would think I would hate this game. Please, like seriously, explain why you would think I would not like this. You know I like my, like, action games that don't, like, have fucking bunch of story shit interrupting it. You should know that I like these, like, top-down shooting games like this. The Hotline Miami, Hong Kong Massacre, whatever. Any of this kind of shit. Xeno Crisis. You know, Smash TV. Not that this is exactly like that, but... I can't imagine what would make you think I wouldn't like it. Oh, it was sarcasm. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. I thought it was serious, so I was like, like how? That, that makes 10 times more sense. I would like to make an apology to ZD Patrol I, I am, uh, this is now my second apology. But that said, I did, you know what, maybe I won't because like, no, I will, I'll, pod, I'll apologize for it. But uh, see, it's hard with text. And that's what I do. I, may, I would make like tweets and shit that are like supposed to be sarcastic and that, or like a joke and then people don't take it that way, you get all offended, you know? Because on here, I could be like, motherfucking piece of shit, cocksucker, whatever, and then, like, nobody says anything, but you make it into a, into a text, and then now people are taking it seriously. It's like, it's a fucking joke, and they, they don't under... When it's, like, a text, they don't get it. You know? Mike doesn't hate everything new or recent, just 98% of it, just like me. Probably not that much. Probably, I would say 90%. I probably hate 90% of it. I'd say there's a good 10% of new stuff that I'm alright with. <laughs> I think 98's a little high. I was just playing that game that's new, it's called uh, Ziggurat 2. I like that game. That was, that was good. That's a new thing. You know? As far as games go, go, there's like a lot of games that are newer that I like. Listen, there's a lot of old games that I don't fucking like. You know? As you guys know very well. So it's like, it's all over the place. Because that, that means to assume that everything that's old that I like... There's plenty of old shit that I think fucking sucks, you know?
See, we never talk about that. See, I only end up usually talking about old things that I like. It'll be like, oh yeah, like I used to like to watch Thundercats, or I like the Adam West Batman, or I like the Twilight Zone, or whatever. It's always stuff I like. But there's plenty of shit that fucking sucked. Uh, how about Mama's Family? That's a retro show. Fucking sucked. <laughs> like. Sorry, all you Mama's Family fans. And for that, I do not apologize. Fuck, fuck that show. <laughs> you know? It's amazing to me that a lot of that cast is like the Golden Girls cast. Because Golden Girls was such a good show. You know? Because uh, Betty White and uh, Rue McClanahan were on that. And I can't fucking stand that show. But yeah, Golden Girls was great, though. My favorite part of Golden Girls is how, behind the scenes, uh, um, B. Arthur called Betty White a cunt. That's my favorite part of Golden Girls. I wish that would have been an episode. If that would have been an episode, imagine the ratings. Man, sweeps week. It would have been amazing. Night Court? I, I love that. that. That I love. Maud sucked. I didn't really like Maud either. I like All in the Family uh, a lot, but Maud I did not really like. like spin-offs. Who we got left here? The only thing modern Mike likes now is Judge Judy. Um, I like her attitude. To be honest with you, I don't mind. I don't mind Judge Judy. But that's not fucking modern. That's like from the '90s, you know. I mean, I guess is she is she still on? I think she is, right? I haven't seen it in a like a really long time. But I like that. I like how she's fucking like doesn't take any shit and all that. She's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> right? <laughs> Did I like Dennis the Menace with Jay North? Uh, it's alright. Yeah. I watched it as a kid. I mean, I don't... I haven't seen it in a really long time. It was alright. Enlightened, thank you very much for the sub. All right, so we're gonna do this. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be the centipede again or what, but we're gonna find out. It is. So you. So I do have to. Do, it is, babe. I didn't go to the beach, but it basically is the fucking beginning.
yeah, yeah, there you go. Getting better at that. Bong. Bong. Alright, what do we got? What am I having? Hair of the dog that bit me, Lloyd. Increase health by 15. Oh my god. Oh, I was like so close to getting that. Seriously, they made this game for me. They have like... Movement speeds reduced. Hmm. But oh, how much is it reduced? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try it. I don't know though, like if it's really slow though, that could be horrible. <sighs> Maybe not, I don't know, 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 I don't know. I wish I could have that. I bet, I probably should just save my money, huh? Or I could spend the hundred to restock, but. <sighs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save my money, I think. I'm saving my money. Have I played Plock? Oh, dude. <laughs> Seriously? That's a troll, right? I'm gonna say that that's gotta be a troll post. Because I recently was talking about that. Plock has such a good soundtrack. That's all people ever say about Plock. They're like, oh, the soundtrack's so good. Yeah, but what else about it? It's like if you mentioned DuckTales. It's like, oh, yeah, the moon music. All right. How come nobody uh, mentions the, uh, the boss of the Himalayas? Nobody talks about that. People just have their things that they like to talk about, about the specific game, you know? Oh, the music is so good. That, that's great. What about the gameplay? And they're like, oh, I never played it. I just listened to the music on the internet. You know the thing about Plock too, like back when Super Nintendo was out, I never heard anybody talk about Super. I never heard anybody talk about uh, Plock back then, ever. It was always like Super Metroid or Street Fighter Two or you know, but all these other games, Mario Kart or something. Nobody ever talked about Plock. I feel like this is like an internet thing. Dude, there's like, these guys are putting, uh, like, toxic shit on the ground. I can't be, I can't be having that happen. Toxic Crusaders. Speak for yourself? What, about not talking about Plock back then. I mean, I, nobody I knew talked about it. They would always talk about other games. I'm not saying that nobody did, but when, when I was like in school, nobody was like, oh, Plock. You know, people were talking about like Link to the Past or Mario World or, you know, other games. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, you know, Turtles in Time. Like a million other games, and nobody ever was like, <laughs> "Hey, hey, Mike, can you play Pluck?" Like nobody was saying that in like 1995. You mean the internet is full of shit? What gives? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just finding this out now.
I just made a mess all over the ground. And there is an arrow for each guy. I don't like these guys that drop their pudding on the ground. Like that! Don't, don't be dropping your pudding, alright? It's like a Diablo spitter. Which Diablo? Diablo 2? I just played through that. I don't even remember that guy. Let me look it up. I also have a bad memory. Let's see. Pus spitter from Diablo 2. Let's see. Show me a picture of it. I had to see a picture of it to remember. Tomato soup everywhere. Mike has a big dick. You have to shoot ropes of pudding. Diablo 1. Are they in Diablo 1 as well? They might be. Joe and Mac 2. Lost in the Tropics game of the year. You know what's funny is the Joe and Mac game I've beaten is the one on NES, and then people never remember that it's on NES They because everybody played the Super Nintendo one, I think. Hey, Mike, look at the keyboard. Look at the letters that spell plock. They are all, all grouped together, so somebody probably just slapped the keyboard with their dick. Might be true. Who knows? By the way, if a guy who developed Plock is in the stream right now, just by on an off chance, I'm very sorry. <laughs> He's probably like 70. He's not, he's not watching, but he should be, because that's the age group I'm going for with my streams. Most people, I feel like, don't you feel like most people are trying to advertise to like, you know, from teens through the 30s? I feel like that's kind of the, the demographic. Unless you're watching, like, CBS, and then it's like, you know, then they're advertising maybe to old people because they're showing you, like, dentures commercials and adult diaper commercials in between, like, soap operas. Or maybe, like, NBC late at night when it's, like, the crime dramas, and then, like, your, you know, your parents or your grandparents, they put on, like, the, they put on the TV, and then it's like, oh, yeah, NYPD. And then they, like, fall asleep while it's, like, on. But, like, as they're, like, falling asleep, the commercials are playing. So it, like, is going into their subconscious. And it's, like, you know, commer it's, like, old people commercials. That's the demographic I'm also going for. Except that I'm just failing is the problem. Joseph Valencia, thank you very much for the sub. Mike is apologizing a lot tonight. What happened to the crazy asshole with the wizard hat? Um, well, I even if I had the wizard hat on, if there was a good reason for something, I would I would give an apology. Um, the guy was talking. What was the guy talking about that I gave the apology for? What I don't even remember what it was now. The, does anybody remember? What What was the thing I gave the apology for? 
No, before that. There was the, the first guy. I don't, I don't even remember now. He, oh, that's it. Thank you, Indie Dev guy. So he, there was a guy, yeah, he was rubbing his balls, and I was like, oh, everybody in here is probably just masturbating, because I was trying to talk about the controls of the game. And, the, and I'm like, ah, they're not paying attention to me. They're all just masturbating. And he's like, hey, I'm not masturbating. I'm rubbing my balls. And, or he was ho hold, not rubbing his balls. He was holding his balls. So I apologize to him. So if there's a good reason to apologize, I will apologize, wizard hat or no wizard hat. Okay? But only when there's a good reason. And I felt that that was a good reason to apologize to somebody. I'm not beyond an apology. There's got to be a good reason. Switch guns off. Now. I'm switching guns, man. Six, I got to. I got to nine before. Come on. Well, this is a hard game. Back to the beach. Can I go outside? They don't let you go outside. The beach is the beach is right outside. So they do set you back to the beginning. You don't just have to walk on the beach again. You just come here. Oh man. I don't, let me get a drink with a gun on me. Become much more likely to enter a misplaced chamber. I don't know what that means. Maybe I should get the wealth thing so that when I actually get the thing, I can afford things. I'm gonna get that. wealth jar it's to get more money so when I next time I get to a shop I can maybe afford something so that's probably a good idea what's outside it's a beach but it doesn't let you go outside now I think I have to select it or something it's just a beach it's nothing So I specifically have to what? Break plant. What about these? I thought that was supposed to give me money, right? <laughs> like, isn't like that how I'm supposed to get it? I want to know how I get the money. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I make it out of this at this point, it will be an absolute miracle. I have none. I literally have zero. 
If I stub my toe, I'll be dead. I don't think I, I didn't make it. Zero, zero rooms. Well, that's the worst I ever did. Wow, that was pathetic. That's probably the worst anybody ever did. Let's try that one again. They didn't like that I had the wealth thing. I don't fly straight. I'm good. Sure. Let's splatter the enemy. I don't know. That's probably the worst thing I could have picked. You want the volume up? I can raise the volume. Empty ball sack? You want me to do that instead? Well, maybe later in the stream, if I remember, I'll just like dump a big load on the table. I'll like empty my balls. On cam, yeah? Okay, later, a later, little bit later in the stream. I, I'm gonna play this for now, but if I can remember, we'll do that a little bit later. It'd probably be better than watching me play this game. Watching me better, watch me fail over and over. If you're really good, you know what I could do? If you got if you if you're gonna be good boys and girls, you know what I could do? I could text Inspector Gadget and instead of me dumping a load on the table, emptying my balls, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna text I'm gonna text Inspector Gadget right now. And I am going to tell him to come over and uh, at the end of the stream, maybe if he will come over in the gadget mobile, maybe he will fuck me in the ass. I will, there we go, sent. We'll see if he responds. He might be busy tonight, but hopefully later in the stream, we'll get that done. Whoa. Oh, that's the splatter. That was cool. I wanna see that again. There's a place with like one enemy, I'll try to do it. Oh! It's right in the middle of the room. Need a good opportunity to do this. Maybe this guy, maybe I can get with this guy. So it's all right. There you go. Kick to the groin. I wonder if you get anything extra for doing that. Dump your load over the camera. Oh, I was gonna just like empty my balls on the on the desk. 
just like blow it into the camera? Okay. I didn't think about that. You guys come up with such good ideas. You're a lot smarter than I am now, so. Makes sense. This is why I need you guys. This is why I need my chat to come up with all these good ideas. Thank you guys, you're such a help. Wonder why all my streams get demonetized. Hmm. What's wrong? You can't by the way. Why why can't you fucking talk about like emptying your fucking nuts all over like your desk? Why does that get demonetized? If it wasn't for cum, you'd be dead. You wouldn't exist. But this is okay. This is okay. This is totally fine. I can, if I just sit here and blow people away all day with blood splattering everywhere, oh, that's fine. That's death. But the thing that creates life of oh, demonetized. Okay. Sense does that, what sense does that even make? If you really think about it, isn't that like fucking weird? You would think that this would be the thing that you can't fucking show. Oh, you know, you know the like the really bad thing? That's what we're allowed to show. <laughs> like, right? It's fucking stupid. Everything's so fucking stupid. Blood good come bad, apparently. Mad pa panic coaster? You know what, no, I'll look it up right now, let's say. I'm gonna look it up, this is what I do. People give me, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So somebody gives me a suggestion, I'm gonna go on YouTube, Mad Panic Coaster. And I pretty much will make a determination by looking at a video. Oh wait, is it PS1? Are you talking about the PS1 game? Or is there like a new one? PS1, okay, let's say. I'm looking at it right now, okay? There's two like girls on a roller coaster. Okay, and what happens? Okay, oh, you like jump over. You jump over stuff on the coaster. Yeah, I mean, it looks just like action-y. Actually, it seems like almost like arcade-y. Like it could have been an arcade game or something. But I guess this is a PS1 exclusive. I've never heard of this, actually. I'd have to play it to see if I like it, but like, I, judging by looking at it, I would try it. Like, I don't, like I can't tell whether or not, like I would, I would like the gameplay, but it would, judging from looking at it, like I would at least give it a shot. So, okay, Mad Panic Coaster. I'll, I will try it out and I'll see. And then if I actually like the gameplay, then, I, then I, at that point I would stream it. But I'd have to like, you know, I'd have to like the gameplay. So I'll put it, I'll put on the PS1 like later or something and, or tomorrow and I'll try it and I'll see. So good suggestion, I'll say. Well, maybe good, I gotta try it. Twenty five percent of this site showing the the cooch such a stupid oh you mean like the, the twat the the pussy vagina? One of those. 
That's 25%. Have you done the math on that? Is it? Is it 25%? What if it's 27%? What if it's what if it's 57%? You don't know. I want to know if you've done the actual math on that. They mean they mean the poon they mean the meat curtains. Oh, that that clears it up. Thank you. If I didn't have that little piece of information, I, would, I was going to be confused, but now I think I get what you're talking about. So what I really want to know, though, is the... Um, oh, did I die and lose that coin thing, or do I, is this still the same run? I don't even remember. Because it says something about shooting these gets money, but I thought, like, coins were going to fly out of these, and that's not happening. So I don't really get the coin planter thing. I feel like I'm getting no additional money. I have 109, right? Like, wait, 119. Hold on a second. Yeah, that shit did. It's not going up. I don't fucking get it. Didn't it say shoot like potted plants or something? fucking understand oh it's not like planet oh it's vases oh it's well it's like you put a fucking flower in a vase I thought that these all right so it's something it's gonna like look different so I'm looking for something else well, where... I want to see what that fucking looks like then. Hold on. I'm going to look around here and see. Like, do you see any? <laughs> I want to know what the sprite looks like. Like, what am I looking for? If you see one, shout at me. At any point during this. Fuck. I learned that the first PG-13 movie was Red Dawn from Cinemassacre, thanks. What was the video? Because I might not have had it to have anything to do with that. <laughs> well, if it was like an old Monster Madness video, maybe. I feel, I don't remember that, so I feel like that was something I probably wasn't involved in. He didn't tell me. Don't you, don't you love that? The guy, I, I asked the question and then he doesn't say anything.
ask question then leaves. Yeah, exactly, that too. He drops the question, logs out, and then I'm sitting there answering it. What if I, what if it was like a question where I gave like a really elaborate answer? I'm sitting there answering the question, the guy's, I mean, that wouldn't be the first time, that happens. I start answering the question and then I leave. Maybe you took too long to respond. It's right, it's still on the fucking screen. <laughs> Wait, he is here. It was a line from Friday the 13th. Uh, I don't remember if I edited those or not. I definitely worked on the Nightmare on Elm Street ones. I think he edited those Friday the 13th ones. Cause we, there was, we did that, I think we did that separately from Monster Madness. We did like a separate thing that was all about Friday the 13th, I'm pretty sure. Like I don't think the Friday the 13th ones were part of Monster Madness from what I can remember. And that might have been when I was winding down on editing them, possibly. Because I did it from 2007 until, I don't know, around Monster Madness, like, 8 or so. Uh, so, I think he edited those ones. So the thing is, if I didn't edit it, then, like, when I would edit one of those, I, I would capture the movie, and while the movie was capturing, I would watch it so that when I was editing it, I knew what the fuck... Unless I had, it was a movie that I'd seen, like, a million times, like Dracula or something. Like, I've seen that ten million times, so I don't need to watch it. But usually I would watch it while I'm while I was capturing it, and then I had it in the editing thing, and then I edited his voice down, and then put the clips in and everything. So I don't... I think that was something, I think he did that completely. I don't think I worked on that. I think he, he did that. So that's why I don't know that. So that would be a comment for him. Send him an email and tell him that. That's how you, what you do. I'm like not involved in that one. Ding dong. Are there sometimes games you regret playing because, wait, what? Are there sometimes games you regret playing because playing them now for longer erased your positive memories you had of them like with SimCity? Oh, like would it be better? Cause I had positive memories of SimCity like playing it as a kid and then I played it recently and then now it's like a nightmare game for me. <laughs> Um, I guess, probably, well, um, I think I was under a false assumption that it was a game that I thought was good, um, and now that I know more about it, you know, after getting a Megalopolis, now I know that the game is like super weird and flawed and you have to play it weird to like do well and everything. Um, I would rather know what I know now because I feel like I have a more informed opinion on it now. So no, I think it's better that I know what I know now. Like for a serious answer. Because answer. like if then I, then I've, then I, then to this day I'd still be going around like, oh yeah, some city, like great game, like right? But that's not really true. So it's better that I know the truth about it. I've got the cure for what ails you. Take a look. Okay, what do we have? Move faster during focus. Ooh. That might be good. Adrenaline. When health is below 25%, speed and damage are increased. I'm going to get that one. Wait, what's this top one? Not that I can get it. Guns are extremely loud. That's funny. Well, I can't afford it. I'm going to get this one. That seems like a good one. Do you like to play hard games? Yes. 
I don't like when games are like so impossible that it's like you can't like well I mean I guess it depends what the game is sometimes I feel like games are like unnecessarily like too difficult but but usually I do like them to be pretty difficult I don't want them to be like so difficult you can't even do like I don't want to play like a Kaizo thing I feel like that's like too far for me but I, I want I like I want games to be like pretty like fairly difficult yeah I don't like the worst thing is if a game's too easy I hate that It's like, I don't know, like take the AVGN Deluxe thing. There are so many settings on that where you can like set the game as hard as you want it to be. And that's great. So you like, it's like you can choose what you want. And it's like, I would probably want to do like one of the harder settings, but I don't, I don't want to do like the absolute most difficult setting. Cause then it's like, too, it's going a little too far, you know? So it's like. You know, there, I, there's a limit to it, but yeah, I like harder games, but I don't like fucking stupid impossible games either. So there's like there's a limit to it. Shit. Jeez. So no Gradius 2 then. You know I played Gradius 2 and then um, that one is really hard. Uh, like the Gradius games, I like Gradius 5 because when you die it sets you back to right where you are. And I don't like in a lot of those Gradius games when you hit the ceiling. Like I find out, I find that 85% of the time when I die in Gradius is because I hit the wall and that irritates the shit out of me. So that one, it's really not one of my favorites. If I had to pick one, it'd probably be like Gradius on Super Nintendo, Gradius 3 or, or Gradius 5. I think Gradius 5 is the one I like the best. That game needs to have a, re, like a remaster or a remake on uh, like Switch or whatever, or Steam or something. Like so They have to re... They have to put that out again, because I think that's, like, the best one. And as of right now, like, you have to only have it, like, on disc on PS2. It's, like, hard. They made it, like, hard to play now. That game super needs to be re-released. And they haven't done anything. Like, if I could pick, like, one game that, like, needs a re-release re more than probably anything else I can think of, it's probably that. Because that game, it's like, that's, like, the best Gradius game. And it, it's, like, hard to play now. You like Parodius better? Yeah, I probably do, too, usually. R-Type on Turbo Graphics 16 is brutal. It, it, it is. R-Type is so hard. It's fun, though. I like R-Type, though. I think I like R-Type more than I like um, Gradius. Not that I don't like Gradius. I do, but I think I'm more of an R-Type guy. Bong. Darius is pretty sick. Even the re-releases. There was something I played Darius uh, this year. 
that I liked a lot. Um, what the hell was it? Was I playing, was it Darius Gaiden? It might have been, or Darius, um, I was playing it a few months ago. I think it was Darius Gaiden. Is that it? Hang on. There's so many Darius games, I get them confused. Hang on a second. Yeah, I think. I think it was Darius Gaiden. Oh fuck! I'm fucking looking something up. Hey, my fucking foot hit the fucking controller. Anyway, it was Darius Gaiden. I didn't even fucking see what happened. God damn it. And I was like four rooms into it. What the fucking even happened? I think, cause it's, you're using the shoulder buttons and I have my, I have the controller down and then I fucking. <sighs> that sucked. I should have fucking put the controller on the table, but I didn't. The fucking, this guy. So a slot machine comes up every time. I don't want, that's gonna get annoying. I don't know, like, I'll do gun boots. No, what doesn't have shoulder buttons? Any ass. It's true. It's true. What are we gonna like shit on, like like Super Nintendo or something because it has shoulder buttons? That's fucking. That's like a stupid argument. Atari Twenty Six Hundred as well. That's true. Any of you guys, like, uh, any of you guys play NES, like, this week? In the last seven days, have you played NES? And if you have, what did you play? You played Batman, did you? Are you able to beat it? Tetris. What's the point? Well, what's the fucking point of anything? What's the point of playing uh, OTXO? Nothing. I don't know. It's something to do if you're fucking bored. Just like watching these streams. I don't get why you'd watch somebody stream. I don't know. It's something to fucking... Why do you watch a show? Why do you do anything? It's just something to fucking do. Fancy Charles says Dr. Mario. I wish I was better at Dr. Mario. Speaking of uh, Dr. Mario, so, oh, oh, I already showed you this, but I'll show you again, I have over here. I've been doing drawings of um, NES box covers. I drew a, I drew a Dr. Mario. Here, hang on, if you haven't seen this, maybe they, I already shown this, but if you haven't seen it, I drew Dr. Mario. And then during the uh, last stream, or one of my last streams, I also decided to draw uh, this guy's dick in my chat. This is, this is a guy in my chat's dick. A drawing of it. Two scale, just so you know. That's a two scale drawing. I also, I also did uh, Hydlide. 
I drew Hide Lide. Everybody's favorite game. What is Hide Lide? I can't say it. And then recently I did, uh, oh great, I did Gyrus. Oh, well that, that looks great. Oh, there you go. I did Gyrus recently. <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah, I kind of suck at Dr. Mario though. I should practice it. If you want to see those um, in better quality, here's my blog. I put them on my blog if you want to see them. So click that if you want to look at the pictures. Mutant vi oh mutant virus yo I should draw that let me see the fucking cover of mutant virus hold on a second I want to like draw more of those I enjoy I I'm, I'm like I take forever to draw shit but um I'm trying to think of the next one I want to do let me hang on a second that would be a good one maybe to do though hold on a second. Because I was looking at different, like, box covers. I, I mean, I also might do, like, a different system, like Genesis or something, I don't know. So this is Mutant Virus. That would be a good one to do. That game fucking sucks, dick. But that's a cool fucking cover. Isn't that a shame, though? Like, that cover is so fucking cool. But the game is so fucking bad. That's, like, maybe the worst... NES game, or it's one of them. If there was a top 10 list of worst NES games, that'd be, that'd be on there. It was a fucking awful fucking game. But that is a cool, it looks like a, almost like a DC like cover or something. I wonder who drew that. It was really nice looking. Anyway. Um, can you do Castlevania 1? Maybe. I was kind of like, how long does it, those take you? Um, I don't like time it, so I don't fucking know, but I'll draw it. And then, well, if you look at the blog I did, I put, uh, I took pictures of it as I was doing it. So there's, uh, wait, let me go to it so I can see. So I, I would take a picture of it as I'm drawing it. Not so much, wait, not the Dr. Mario one so much. But if you go down to the other ones, like Hide Lide, or actually if you go to the last one, if you go to the Gyrus one, it shows like I did a bunch of pencils. So I'll draw like, I draw the box first and then I sit and I try to like sketch. I'm, I try to sketch out like, okay, where the objects go. And then like, like say the spaceship, I try to like get the right place on the page and then like, okay, where is that in, in like in connection to like, the logo, like how far down does the logo have to go? How far up? Like, and I'll, I'll draw like a line in the middle maybe. And cause I'll try to get, basically I try to get the placement right first. And that takes like a while to get the, try, try to get the placement right. And a lot of times I don't get it like very close. I don't know, it's hard. That's the hard part is like getting the fucking placement. And then I start like doing like details and stuff like that. And, but once it's like at the final part where it's like, okay, I drew everything in pencil. That's kind of the annoying part is like drawing everything in pencil. I find that to, like, it's fine, but like, that's not the fun part. I like the inking part. I'm just like basically drawing it and waiting until I get to the inking part. Cause once it's inking, then I get to just sit and ink it. And that's like the fun part. The fucking, and some people don't like like to ink which is weird to me because it's like that's my favorite part of it like that's the part i find fun the drawing part is more it's kind of fun it's more work than it's fun though for me especially the beginning part of it the beginning part of it is the annoying part because i'm trying to like get the placement you know that's the hard part But yeah, maybe I'll do the mutant virus. I don't know. It's a fuck. I actually might like do. I don't know. I might draw some Sega Genesis ones or something. I don't know. I gotta see which one like inspires me to draw something. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck.
I like these levels so much more than the damn bathhouse. Those levels are annoying with that steam. Really don't like that. I would like to at least see the damn second boss. I wonder what it is. I haven't even gotten to it yet. Yeah, I like this game. <laughs> it's fun. Fuck. Kind of nice that the game's in black and white, too, because it's like... A lot of games can have like uglier, like garish colors, and also the black and white, it just makes it like, it's a very simple to look at. I think that's probably a good decision. You don't need it to be, you don't need it to have colors. Well, the only color is red for the blood, which is cool, <laughs> you know? If this was a James and Mike Mondays episode, James would say for sure, he'd be like, oh, this is like the Tingler from like whatever, 1957 or whatever. That would definitely be what he would say. <laughs> Which it's, it would be true. It is like that. Because that, that was a black and white horror movie that they just showed a little bit of uh, the only color in it is the blood. have to throw down the gun I think it would be more likely that if I if I'm holding the gun the dude would be intimidated and he would give me a, he would give me the fucking shots for free dude, I should just fucking stand here and be like give me all the fucking shots or I'll fucking blow your fucking head off how about that like I mean really <laughs> like 
They say the bar. They say a bartender is a pharmacist with a limited inventory. <laughs> Enemies have a chance to drop a med pack. Oh, that'd be nice. I don't think I, I would want that anyway. I can't afford anything anyway. Alright, well, I can't afford anything. I was confused. It was looking like Hotline Miami, but easier, but I guess it has some kind of bullet time in use. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily easier. I've been getting to about, what's the most I made it, nine levels in. I've been, I made it further in Hotline Miami, you know? It might be harder, to be honest with you. Or not necessarily harder, but it's hard. It's definitely not easy. I mean, the, f the first couple levels are, but once you start getting further in the run, it get, it's harder. It's a different type of game. It's like, you know, a Hotline Miami, you go from stage to stage to stage. This is this sets you all the way back to the beginning. I mean, honestly, because of that, it's probably harder. The fact that it's like roguelike style, you know, so. I really like Hotline Miami, though. It's a fun game. I'll probably play more of it someday. Maybe I'll try the second one out. I think the second one's supposed to be even uh, harder than the first game. Apparently a lot harder. And the first the first game is pretty hard. So, we'll see. playing this because I, I streamed Hotline Miami and then I wanted I asked the chat I'm like what are some other games like that so they rec so they recommended this game I mean that's why so had it not been for Hotline Miami I would not know about this game more straightforward and I, I kind of like that because it's you just kind of go from room to room to room then there's the bartender you take a shot and you keep going where Hotline Miami is more there's like story stuff going on which I don't really need personally this, this one's just like drink your fucking whiskey and keep going man Super Opi, thank you for the sub. We need Double Dragon guys in here, lol. You know, um, there is a Double Dragon game. There's like a newer Double Dragon that I haven't streamed yet that I've been thinking about. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, what's like the newest one? Oh, there's, wait, well, there's Double Dragon 4, right? Or... When was that? 2017. There's, there's Double Dragon 4, which I... Did I stream that? Maybe I already did. Uh, oh, I did a Let's Play a long time ago. So, yeah, I kind of did. I could maybe play that again, though. Double Dragon 4, and then... The new one is... Called, uh, 
Rise of the Dragon. Has anybody played that? Is that any good? I want to see what the trail this trailer looks like for this. Uh, there's a trailer. Hang on a second. I'm going to look at the trailer. I'm going to put the controller here so it doesn't, like... Here, hang on. Yeah, this is Rise of Dragons. it might be fun though maybe anybody play it Mike looks very impressed it looks all right it doesn't look bad it just looks kind of like I don't know I'd have to play it it doesn't like when I'm looking at it it definitely doesn't like blow my mind or anything but I'm like eh, maybe you know what I really liked was that uh, Streets of Rage 4. That game was awesome. I should stream that again. I already streamed it, but it was so good that I would stream it again. You know what game was really good too? That uh, Blazing Chrome. I remember really liking that. Those were good. I was very, like, very impressed with Streets of Rage 4. That's like, that's how you do it. As far as like remakes of these old games, like that's one of the better ones. I thought at least, I thought it was good. Sound is low, sorry. I was like, I, I bring it up and down. It's like sometimes when I'm trying to talk to you guys or whatever, I'll drop it, but then I forgot to raise it again. There. show you guys this. I probably can't. The wires are connected. I have a dial to like bring my, um, it's it's like a pretty cool little device, but I, the wire on it, I can't show it to you. No slowdown. Try to beat like, these levels. No slowdown. Here. I'm gonna play this game even better with no slowdown. I'm gonna stop slowing it down. Oh, here we go. Boss is coming. Uh, Dan, thanks for giving us up to Chubby Catfish. I appreciate that. A rotary dial. I wonder. This might fuck everything up if I do this. Here, I'm gonna unplug it. The sound's probably completely gonna go out.
there. Alright, am I back? Hopefully I didn't fuck everything up. Can you hear me? Wait, the music didn't come back on. Or is it like... Oh no, there we go. I should be good. Hopefully I didn't fuck everything up. We heard you even when it was unplugged. Okay, so the microphone was there. No, I meant like the game and everything. I've never unplugged that in the middle of a stream before, so I didn't know what that was going to do. Probably not the best idea. All right, here we go. got me bad during that. at that. Look at my health. That is unbelievable. That is close. That, I'm on zero. I'm on zero health. <sighs> okay. Just barely made that. Oh my god. Thank god. Okay, flying squirrel. Your bullets do 20% more damage, but they don't fly straight. I don't want that. That would be awesome, but like once again, I don't have the money for it. So it's like, like I guess I could get this. That could screw everything. I guess I could try it, and like I don't know, only twenty percent more damage. Like, is it even worth it? Why can't I afford this? Come on. That'd be awesome. Or I could restock the bar, but then I'm gonna lose 100 bucks. Maybe I should, because like, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, because I can't, like all those stuff. I'm gonna do that. All right, let's say, killing an enemy during focus. Rolls a, that's a, a slot, I feel like I'll get annoyed with that. No. I guess that. Like all those suck. Maybe I'll get like slightly more health. Keep me alive. Like I don't know. That all suck. Okay. 
So blood droplets, is that like if I'm close to an enemy when I'm shooting them? Let's see, I'll try to shoot somebody close. That didn't work. Uh-oh. That didn't work at all. I'm just gonna not worry about it. How about that? Can I roll? Can I like roll around on the ground in the blood and that'll fill my health up? That'd be great. Hey, that was nice. Take this with me. That was great. I wonder how many times in Mike's gaming career that has happened. What, like a... It's like a 1 HP thing. That happens to Erin a lot. I think she has a compilation she did, I think, on somewhere on her YouTube or something. I think on her YouTube that has, like, her streams, uh, she did one where it's all the times she beat something, but on 1 HP. It's probably happened a lot to me, too. I should probably make a compilation like that, too. Um, I feel like it doesn't happen like that much with me. Um, but I'm sure it's definitely happened, like, here and there. But yeah, she has, like, a whole video on that subject. I should raw dog the next stage with no upgrades. Upgrades? Like, I'm not really... Oh, you mean just... You mean the shots? Like, not taking a shot? Or are you saying don't use the slowdown? Because it's two different things. I mean, honestly, like, the game is hard enough as it is. I don't need to be adding in challenge stuff. <laughs> Let me beat the game first, and then I'll add challenges, you know? Challenges are for after I beat the game. It's like, right, I do, like, uh, 
a challenge with Ninja Gaiden, but not until I've beaten the game normally. Like, you got, I gotta, like, beat the game normally, and then I'll add in that stuff. I don't even know if I can beat the game as it is. Like, honestly, like, I'm not, I haven't been getting very far at all. That doesn't have anything either. There we go. There we go, nice. Why don't you raw dog it, Mike? You just wanted to say that word. He says it's true, just wanted to say raw dog. See, I knew it. <laughs> did I see the trailer to the new monkey ball game? Could be good. I did. Um, I don't know. I have to play it and say, we'll see. I'm not really ho holding out a lot of hope because they've never made a good one since the GameCube, in my opinion. So there's probably gonna be something in it that is stupid, I'm sure, but from the, from the trailer, I can't tell, so maybe it'll be all right? I don't know, we'll see. I hope, I hope so, I hope it's good. I want it to be good. couple years ago where it's like what was it like the re-release or whatever on switch it was there was something that they did that bothered me with it. i don't care remember what it is right now but they always like fuck something up you know that was like the closest attempt that they've had though what the fuck was that other one hold on a second I guess Banana Mania? Is that the one? That was like a couple years ago? Did that have the... There's, oh wait, and then there was Banana Blitz. See, I don't fucking know. Which was the one that... I don't fucking know which one was which. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I didn't like any of them. The only ones I ever liked were the first two on GameCube. Shit, I thought I got him already. Where did he go? There he is, son of a bitch. Fuck. Shit! God, there's a lot of enemies left, too. Fuck! 
Oh shit, there's a guy over here! Oh my god. I need a gun. That was close. I fucking hate that. That's one thing I don't like. I can't fucking afford any of it. I'm just fucking saving my money. I can never fucking afford anything in this fucking game. I think you should be allowed to blow this guy away. And then the next guy can be a different bartender. Should be on a different floor anyway. I mean, it makes sense. them, but I suck at them. I am terrible at pinball. But I like, I like the art on them. I like pin, like, I like pinball. I'm just not, it's like fighting games. It's like, I think they're fucking cool. I like to look at them. I, I always mention like that, uh, you know, Marvel versus Capcom. I think that game's like fucking beautiful to look at. I can't fucking play. I'm just stupid at fucking fighting games like that. Um, so like pinball, like fighting games, like yeah, they're cool, but I fucking suck at it. So I don't really play them. Zelda 2 enhanced PC version. No, people keep asking me. So I like usually to play hacks and homebrews and all that kind of stuff on my EverDrive because that way I can play it on my CRT. Because if it's an NES game, Genesis, Super Nintendo, that kind of stuff, and Zelda 2, it's an NES game, right? I usually like to try to play it on my CRT. I don't usually play the ones that are on PC. I like the ones that I can put on an SD card and put on an EverDrive and play on my TV. So I don't usually play the PC ones. I ha like I have, but whenever I'm playing like an NES type game on like an LCD, I'm just like I want it to be on a CRT. So I just I'm just I just kind of stay away from those. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's really good. I, I probably would really like it. I just wish that I could play it on a CRT.
That's just how I am with that shit. The farthest I made it is nine. Fucking eight. I wanted to fucking see the second boss at least. I mean, now I'm getting fucking pissed, man. Now I'm back to fucking nothing. I'm gonna take a break for a minute. I'm so angry. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back in a minute. I'm so fucking pissed now. I'll be back. Mike, who do you prefer? Huey, Dewey, Louie, Webby, or Shit Pickle? What a question. Um, motherfuck. Hang on. Um, fuck. See how you distracted me with that? <laughs> I'm gonna blame, I'm gonna, I like to blame the people in my chat for not doing well at games. You know, I'm the one holding the controller, but I, I blame them. That's gonna be my fucking. I'm gonna start a uh, a convention, and everybody's everybody's gonna get together. It's gonna it's gonna be for people who fucking suck at games. I'm gonna be the host. <laughs> it's for everybody else. We don't want any talented people at, at my convention. It'll be all people that have no talent, just like me. <laughs> It'll be great. And you're, everybody's invited. Unless you're good at game. If you're good at games, you gotta you, you gotta get get out. You're not you're not allowed. <laughs> if you, if you've been known to to speed run games, you can't. It's not you can't come. It's it's for it's for all of us losers that can't can't do anything. Oh, dude, can I get double spread? That sounds like something that would be on Urban Dictionary. We go this way. Bell. Please. Ah! Uh, all the way from the beginning? Motherfucker. There sh I, he should have, a, like, a scream. Hey, I want to contact... I, hey, developer, if you happen to ever see this stream, I will lend you for free my voice. I, and when the squirrel goes off the thing, it will be me, and I'll go... Thank you, God. All right, there it is. Look at the evil snowman. Hold up. Let's check him out. If I can get the camera to go the right way. We're going to see it. There he is. Evil snowman. <laughs> hmm. This is a race. All right, I'm going to have to drop off it here. Huh? Like, there. Okay. Now we get to the left. Mm-hmm. Now we get in the middle. go up the ramp. Here we go. <laughs> oh, watch out for the walls. They're hard to see. Whoa. Oh, am I gonna die here? The fuck? Yo, this thing needs to slow the fuck down. Dude, what? What, we'll wait for it to come back? Or is there multiple ones? Maybe there's another one that's gonna come. Yeah, oh, okay. It's like, what the fuck? Motherfucker. You motherfucker. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna, here we go, here we go. We're gonna wait for this. I'm gonna get on. When the next one comes. I'm in a disco ball. Look at me. Ooh, all right, here he is. Why would you not want to play a game with a squirrel and a disco ball? I mean, come on. This is some top tier shit here. 
Did I have to go like super fast here? Oh, no, 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 no. Once again, I wait, right? That's what, well, that's what we're gonna do. Boom. Okay. <gasps> ah, what? <sighs> Tricky fuck. Well, shit, what was I supposed to do then? Not that. Bastards. If I can see anything. Here it comes. There. Yo, there's like a thing up there. Oh my god, is that the exit? I mean, I was sitting next to the fucking exit. Ha! Ha! Okay, well that was the problem. I kept going. Oh, now we have a boss. Okay. We, do we knock it back at him? Huh. Let's figure this out. Okay. Oh, when he goes down, that's when I get him, huh? Is that all it is? And the rocks will come into play worse later because... Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Bullshit! I will kill you. You will die. You stand no chance against me. I am the master of all video games. You cannot defeat me! Come on. Come on. What the hell? I hate him. When he's like on the way back up, I guess. Motherfucker, piece of shit! What? I don't even know, understand how I died that time. There. That's one. I'm gonna assume it's three. Can we please get three hits on this stupid shit? I beat it? Okay. <laughs> I guess I beat it. I don't. I thought. All right, it's over. What? I, I, let's move on. I don't fucking know. Whoa. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Whoa. It's kind of cool. Ah! Uh. What? The fuck? What is happening? <laughs> the fuck is going on? I guess that first one's just to show you what it is. I don't know what the fuck I was supposed to do on that last part. Wait a second here. Do I go... I fall on the side and it's gonna bring me up top. That's what I'm gonna guess. Dude, like that camera angle is not. There you go. That's what they want. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, I know exactly what happened. I did that all on purpose. Hey, 
I want to show you something I got. Do you guys like? I bet you like these guys right here. Maybe you don't, but I bet you do. I bet you like these guys. You like those guys? <laughs> Look at that art. So it's hot tips. So I'm going to give you guys a hot tip. Let me give you my hot tip. Let's see. Who wants a hot tip? Um, hang on a second. Let me, let me do this real quick. Sorry, sir. No weapons. Oh, a lot of the bar. I want to read some of these Ninja Turtle things. Let me look at these real quick, though. Rambo. Place is fast. No. No. I guess I could try that. I'm going to try it. Let's see, um, let's see if there's any hot tips. DuckTales. Well, we know DuckTales pretty well. Let's see what their hot tip about DuckTales on NES is. Use your cane to whack boulders. That's one of the tips. That's just how you play the game. Um, okay, here's one. To avoid the bees, you can pogo on their heads to get rid of them. Those are great tips. I'm gonna try a different game. How about, how about, let's say, let's do something more familiar. Mega Man 2, let's say. What is their tip for Mega Man 2? Uh, wait, where's the beginning here? Okay, here we go. Metal Man. Use Mega Cannon to defeat Metal Man. Leap over his blades and shoot him with a steady stream of bullets. That's what it said. So, Mega Cannon, like the regular thing. So basically they're saying just shoot him and jump over his blades. Wow, that's a great tip. Okay, what does it say for Bubble Man? Metal Blade is good on this stage because it shoots in different directions. Yeah, and you know what else it's good for? The entire game. All right, let's try another game. I want to see a good tip out of this. Nightmare on Elm Street. Let's say that. Okay, here we go. Whenever you run into Freddy, when you're asleep, wait, what is that? Whenever you run into Freddy or a Freddy monster, you're asleep, so you can use your dream warrior powers. So in the game, when you're asleep, it's telling you that you can use your powers. Yeah, like when you get the ja the guy that does the javelin. So it's basically just saying you can use your items. Okay. You could also get that information from the instruction manual. When, okay, here's, here's one. Here we go. When Freddy attacks you, you beat him off. I, I swear to God it says that. I am sorry, but it tells you that you beat... Freddy Krueger, you beat off Freddy Krueger. I'm going to show you that I'm not making this shit up. 
beat him off. When Freddy attacks, beat him off. Oh, that's how you defeat Freddy Krueger. Oh, you know, Heather Langenkamp, we should have told her that whole time. Hey, when Freddy comes along, just be like, whip it out, man. Yeah, I know you got a lot of rage. Whip it out. Come on, I'm gonna beat it off. Oh, you think it's all scarred like his face? <laughs> all right, that's my Ninja Turtle tip book. How do you like it? Hope you like the book. hell was going on there? That was a mess. Kick him in the dick. It's because I was out of bullets. This thing's out of bullets, right? No, that's not. Try this again. I'm doing like terrible right now. There you go. Oh, add some roulette thing that came up. That's right, I forgot I had that. Let's see if it helps me. Beating off Freddy Krueger. That's something that I've never really thought about, I gotta tell you. What if that is the problem the whole time? The fucking guy is just all pent up. He's Freddy has fucking blue balls. He doesn't fucking because he's dead, right? Or whatever. Like he hasn't he doesn't get fucking laid. You ever fucking think about that? Freddy Krueger doesn't fucking get laid. So that's why that's why you have to fucking beat him off. Then he he won't be angry. So if you're having a dream and Freddy comes after you, you know what to do now. You learn that here. That's why you come to these streams. I could have just possibly saved your life. You realize this. And it started over. I want to win something. I want to win. Yeah, and it starts over. So you have to win it. That's the thing about it. I'll never win. A, I won't win the jackpot. Money. Money means it goes away. I feel like it works better if you do it, like if you get like a one shot kill. Money, money, yeah, nothing. Man, this shotgun thing fucking sucks. Am I ever gonna win anything? Or slot, slot machine, I meant. Fucking nothing. Dude, fuck this shit. Dude, I have real better luck at, at a fucking actual casino. Fucking 
dude, I haven't even won one fucking cent. Fucking suck dick, man. Fuck this. Oh, I finally won some money. About time. trying to teach you that gambling's bad? Is that what they're trying to do? Are they, is, is this game giving a, an educational lesson? There's so many damn enemies in here. back there. Ah! And what is that one? Like a Wheel of Fortune thing? Like what, what is that? Like a gun chamber or something? Something to take the edge off. Standing still increases accuracy. Any of these other ones that I can't afford would be great. Wait again. Wait again. You have fun with this and Hotline Miami, but would Robotron 2084 and Smash TV still be the gold standard for these type of games? Um, Robotron 2084 is like, it's extremely like fast moving and like difficult. I, I have fun with that in short bursts. But it's like, I don't feel like I... I was playing that not long ago on stream, and I was trying to like, kind of do a more serious, um, you know, sort of playthrough of it. And I was like, you know, I was trying to... I kept trying to, like, top my score over and over. Um, but it's kind of just... It's different. It's basically different. Um, I feel like it's not really comparable, even though they're both, like, it's the same kind of top-down shooting guy gameplay because this is like a game like Hotline Miami or this it's like I'm just I'll play it for like you could play it like for hours where Robotron 2084 I feel like is, is more like I don't know if I'd sit there and play for like hour upon hour upon hour like this is what like four hours now I might sit and play Robotron 2084 for like an hour but I don't know if I'm gonna play it for like four hours I feel like that's kind of a lot with that um but if I really wanted to play Robotron 84 like maybe I'd I could play it maybe 30 40 minutes a day and try to get like better at it where this is more like of a longer play session thing I don't feel like it's really comparable I feel I for me I feel like it's almost a different thing and then Smash TV um See, there's all the different versions of Smash TV. So it's like, which one are we talking about? I I played, oh, I, I played Smash TV in the arcade not super duper long ago, but the problem is the, the arcade that I was playing was like, and probably most people would say like, oh, that's the definitive way to play it, right? Probably, but like, 
the sticks on the machine I was using weren't like super accurate. They weren't like great. Um, I was at a barcade, and it's like the sticks were kind of cra like crappy. They needed like I don't know some work done on them. So. I'd had more of an experience with Smash TV playing it on console, and I felt like the best one of those I played was the Super Nintendo one. Um, now, Smash TV, I feel like I could have a much longer experience with, and I have. Like, I've played Smash TV for, like, hours and hours on stream, so I feel like Smash TV is more compar comparable. Um... I mean, Smash TV is more uh, classic, you know, because it's like we all remember it from our like childhoods, and oh, maybe not everybody does, but you know, it was like a famous game, and it ha that has that nostalgia factor to it, where this, you know, obviously doesn't. Um, so, I mean. This is also, I don't know, uh, I mean, it's, it's two fucking different games. Like, the way, the way you play this is, like, a little, it's, like, a little different than Smash TV, so. But, I guess, I guess, like, Smash TV would be a more, I, like, if I had to recommend, I have, I'm, like, trying to figure out a way to answer this question. Um, if I was gonna recommend somebody to play a game, I would probably tell them to play Smash TV before I would tell them to play this because Smash TV is like, I have a, like, a lot of nostalgia for it because it's been around forever. And I, it, you know, it's got a lot of the funny like quotes in it and stuff. Um, so, probably that's more memorable. But I mean, this is a fucking brand new game. So it's like, of course Smash TV is more memorable. Um, so it's almost like not really fair, because this game came out like, you know, seven months ago or something. It's like we're gonna compare a game that's been around for 40 years to a game that came out last year. So yeah, Smash TV would be more of a definitive thing because it's like, it's been around fucking forever. And Ro Robotron even longer than that. So sure, I guess they're more definitive. Um, but I don't think that that discredits this game. And I don't think it discredits like Hotline Miami. I mean, Hotline Miami is from what, like the last 10 years? It's like, sure, Robotron 2084 and Smash TV, they're more classic games, but I don't think that that means that Hotline Miami is, like, bad or anything. I don't, I don't think it means, like, this is this is bad. Um, I think that the way the way I can answer this question is, if, if you were, like, new to all these type of games, is, like, yeah, probably play a little Robotron 2084, start with that, then play some Smash TV, you know? And then later, you know, try try these out. And I think they're all fun games to play. And I don't think you have to, like, limit it to be like, oh, well, Smash TV, that's the definitive one, so I'm not going to play Hotline Miami, or I'm not going to play uh, whatever the fuck. I hate the name of this game, OTXO. Like, what the fuck kind of name is that? This is a fun game, but the fucking name is fucking stupid. You know what, there you go. Actually, I'm gonna say that, yeah, actually Smash TV and Robotron are more definitive. You know why? Because I can fucking say the name of the fucking game. They should have named this game something else. Name it fucking Kill Kill Kill. How about that? <laughs> like, like, every, I literally had to write the name of this down because I was going to, like, if I didn't, I'd be calling it, like, O-X-T-O or O-O-X-T because it just doesn't fucking mean anything to me. 
And it's a shame, too, because it's like the game is good. But the fucking name is fucking idiotic. Hey, Mike, do you ever eat out of... Yeah, oh, out, do I eat out of the can? Oh, yeah, always, yeah. After I, after I fuck whatever's inside... Like, if it's a can of SpaghettiOs, let's say. First I fuck it, and then I eat it. Like most people do. All four fingers up in the can. They said cool. It's made from dog shit. <laughs> All the better. All the better. I knew Mike was a spaghetti of fucker. Yeah, it, you know what that reminds me of? It, my, there was an AVGN episode, and I wrote one line that was like, uh, it, it would be like trying to stick your dick in a Cheerio. Cause it was like, we were trying to make, a, make an analogy of something that's impossible to do. So it's, so I was like, I was like, how about like, like, you, like you stick, it's like trying to stick your dick in a Cheerio. Or may, let's say it was like a hard game. It would be like, uh, I don't know, try, try to beat some game deathless or something. Oh, it'd be like trying to stick your dick in a Cheerio. It's like, you can't. Like, that was the, that was the analogy. That reminded me of that. This, it could have worked with a SpaghettiO, too. Now that I think about it. I wonder what episode that was. I don't remember. I knew, I knew all that shit at one point. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> come up with like the horrible fucking lines like that YouTube doesn't like that kind of shit though you, you, you try to go too far with it so it's like you gotta you kind of gotta stop at like, like like you can't go too far because I used to be like um, you fucking nail Roger Rabbit to the fucking cross like I wanted to do fuck I wanted to like go further with shit and now it's like mm, you gotta be, like, you know, you gotta be fucking more careful now. Everybody's gotta fucking, uh, stick up their ass. You can't fucking say anything anymore. But, you know, we started doing the show 20-something years ago. And then everything got all fucking PC. And a bunch of fucking pussy, pussy-ass bitches. So now you can't fucking say anything. If I was still doing it, that's why I fucking say everybody would fucking be nailed to the fucking cross. <laughs> All the fucking ones. What was the last one? The fucking Goonies? I'd be like, nail the fucking Goonies to the fucking cross, too. You know? And they, don't, they don't like that. I can't say that. It's a fucking joke, man. It's like, come on. don't like it well what happens if you if you say because it's like my streams because if i say, i'll say i'll talk about like you, you you know all the fucking horrible things i fucking talk about and then the, your video will get marked as because yes because of advertisers just ads that run forget about brand deals and stuff just the ads that normally run on youtube so because the advertisers don't like that kind of shit, if you start talking about shit that they don't like, then they will mark your video yellow, which is limited advertising. And if it gets marked like that, 
they don't send your video out to like all the subscribers. So very few people will see the video. And if very few people see the video when it gets pushed out, then it ruins like the watch time and it ruins like all the interaction and all that. And then your video tanks is what happens. So if you have all the shit in the episodes like we used to have that I like to fucking write and put in there, if you have all that shit in there, you can't because the fucking video will fucking tank. So you can't fucking have it like that. They'll, like YouTube will literally tank your fucking video. So you can't you can't have it. It's fucked. YouTube fucking sucks. So instead of that, what I do is I stream, and then you guys subscribe to me, and that works because you will you subscribe. And then I don't, because of the fact that you guys subscribe, I don't fucking have to worry about what the fuck I say. I'll just say whatever the fuck I want. You know? That's, that's why it works. And that's why YouTube should work that way, too. YouTube should just be like, okay, if you want to watch the, the video, you got to just fucking pay. Pay a dollar or whatever. And then you just, pay. that way you wouldn't have to have the advertisers to appease. And then you could just say whatever the fuck you want. That's how it should work, but people don't want to fucking open their wallets either. Yeah, so it's like, it's fucked. And then also because of the fact that it's been free for like 20 years or whatever, they're not going to automatically be like, okay, now you got to pay, you know, because then people will be like all pissed off. Be like, well, I didn't used to have to pay. You're just being greedy or whatever. But it's like, do you want the fucking content to suck, dick? Well, there you go. I like the I like all that raunchy shit, <laughs> you know. All right, hang on a second. I gotta do this. And I saw somebody go, what? He goes, what? So you don't fucking understand, like... What? Huh? What? I don't get it. Then that, that's what I get as a fucking response to all that. It's like, why do I even fucking bother to fucking speaking? Huh? Huh? What? I'm sorry, I meant to say, I like Plock. Isn't that a neat game? What a great soundtrack. Er. There, does that fucking work? Do you understand that? Get it, He-Man. What he say, He-Man? see this fucking second boss if I can at least fucking do that I swear I feel like I should be doing better at this but then when I get around like level 8 and shit it starts getting really fucking hard at that point I 
can ever fucking afford shit. Saving my money. Saving it. Better than last time. Yeah, I know. I'm like gradually getting better. At first, at first, I didn't know what the fuck to do on that boss. Now, now I'm like getting it. And then I'm gonna get to the second boss and not know what to do on that. Probably and die on that. Kind of looks like the old, the old stick death games. The old stick death games. Are you talking about like the Zio? Zio? It was like, it was like X I A O. Zio, it was like Zio Zio, right? Is that what you're talking about? Somebody remembers I was out. I, I remember it. Shit, man. Fuck. Oof, that's a nice gun. Oh, that's like so powerful. Bitch. You didn't get a notification and it's somebody else's fault, not yours. What, for the stream? You don't want the lecture about how to set up the notifications? You're, you're saying that your notifications are already set up, so you don't want to hear about, you don't want that, about, you don't want me to tell you to turn your notifications on and all that? You're saying that it's like Twitch's fall or something or something that you didn't get it? Well, I don't know. I didn't make the fucking website, so I don't have to tell you. Yes, I do know what to tell you. Get a television in your house and like put it on the wall. Crank up the fucking volume and then leave my streams on at all times. And then you won't miss it. There's your solution. That's what I got for you. Other than that, I don't know what to fucking tell you. I don't fucking work for the website, so like, what do you want me to do? That's my best solution for you. Is it unrealistic? Yeah, but I mean, it would work. And never leave that room. Yeah, and you can't ever leave it. Don't ever leave the room. Should I put it over my fireplace? Motherfucker. You know how I feel about that. That's probably 
of all things that exist, my most hated thing. When they put the fucking television up high, and then you gotta wa- you gotta you gotta watch TV like this. I'm what wa- I'm like I'm like this is a great show. Uh, thanks for inviting me over. I love this show so much. Uh, by the way, you guys got any like Motrin? A lot of people do that shit, though. What the fuck, man? Put your fucking TV at eye level. I mean, it could be like a little bit up, fine. Like, a little higher than eye level, fine. But wait, these motherfuckers, they put it, I swear to fucking God, I'm like, I'm like this. Great show! Well, Mike, we sit in chairs, couches. No, don't even fucking start that. No, I sit in the fucking couch and the motherfucker, and then the TV is like, first of all, the fucking TV is too fucking small. And then second of all, the fucking TV is is like this. It's, it's like, I'm gonna fucking draw it. You have to fucking see this situation. Any fucking paper? Fuck. Hang on a second. All right. So, this is the fucking situation. Don't give me the fucking couch thing, because I'm going to fucking explain it right now with the fucking drawing. I swear to fucking God. This is how it is. It's like this. That's the fucking situation and I'm sitting on the fucking couch. I swear to God. That's what I fucking deal with. And I came up with a whole fucking solution for it. And they didn't fucking do it. They keep it like that. You know what I wanted to fucking tell you guys? And I can't do it right now because I'm using it. So, by the way, I'm playing, I'm using the Steam Deck right now. You know, you guys know about the Steam Deck? You know how I always complain? One day, next time I'm playing, I should do this next time I'm playing NES and then I'll show you. But, um, so I always complain about the Nintendo Switch dock, how the dock sucks. The fucking Steam Deck has a dock, too. You put the Steam Deck into a dock. The dock for the fucking Steam Deck is done right. They fucking did it correctly. It's got the fucking ports on the back, and it's not dumb, idiotic shit. It's designed really fucking well. So, next time I'm doing, like, a retro game stream over here, I'm going to show you side by side the two fucking docks. That's what Nintendo should have fucking done. The fucking Steam Deck, they knew what they were fucking doing. Don't you think? And then, here's the fucking problem, though. 
Nintendo Switch has been out for how long? Like seven years? Okay, I get year one, year two. I'll give, I'll give them that. They didn't think of it, maybe. Fine, I could forgive that. By year three, there should be another dock available to purchase that's designed right. Seven fucking years have gone by and they haven't fucking fixed it. Steam Deck, they fucking did it right. Un unfucking believable. So I don't want to fucking hear about, oh, you can't do that or whatever. Because guess what, motherfucker? It's right fucking there. God fucking forbid Nintendo fixes something. They're too, they're too busy making fucking tweets about Mario Day to fix their fucking product. How about fix your fucking dock before you fucking have your cutesy little Mario Day bullshit? Your fucking dock on your console's fucking broken. It's not even a fucking console. It's a fucking hybrid fucking tablet. Fix the fucking dock on your hybrid fucking tablet machine. Yeah, high bread, that's right. Like a fucking loaf of bread. This is what being on the internet is like. Every fucking word. Better not fucking mispronounce a fucking word on the fucking internet. He said high bread. Hybrid, Would I, like fucking suck my fat dick. Who the fuck cares? You know what I fucking meant? Did you not understand the fucking meaning? Probably didn't, because the guy sitting there, what? 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 Huh? What? Huh? Uh. Trying to have, you have a basic conversation about something. Say, today I ate an apple. Huh? What? I don't get it. I don't understand. What's happening? common, Theodore. <laughs> the loaf was huge. <laughs> the loaf. <laughs> That's right. It was. The loaf of bread was huge, too. Oh, yeah, we're almost up to that part of the stream where I have to empty my nuts. Don't let me forget. I almost forgot. kick you in the face.
Bitch! Spider-Man, Deadpool, right? Contra is out on PS5 now. You just got a message? Is it? I thought it came out in a few days. Do you mean the demo? I was pretty sure it came out on like the 15th or 16th or something. Did it come out? No. Well, if it is, I'll, I'll check and see if... Let me write that down so I don't forget. Maybe I'll stream that tomorrow. If it is actually out. Like, the full game is out? Full game? Okay. Well, all right. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe I'll stream it tomorrow. I'm doing this right now, though. I thought it was, like, in a few days. Firing stand. Standing still greatly increases accuracy. You know what? Did they put it out on... You know what? Here's what I think. Did they put it out early on PS5? Because they want people to play the PS5 version first. Because the fucking Switch version is going to have all the lag and shit. So they're going to like... They're like, uh, let's put out the PS5 version first. So all the reviews are about the PS5 version. Which the frame rate isn't shit. <laughs> you think that that's what they did? Was it... Because what was the fucking release date? I think it was the 15th. I could be wrong though. Let me see. Where's the release date? Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong, actually. For some reason, I thought it was the 15th. No, it was the 12th. Okay, never mind. It says the 12th. I'm wrong. All right. Well, what are you going to do? Staying still, ordinance. Fine. I don't really use them that much. Bullets have 25% chance to home in on enemies. Sure. At least it's something, like, decent. There goes all my money. The Switch version's still crap from what you heard. Yeah, I figured, because the Switch, like, can't fucking handle it, I guess. So I'll, I'm going to play it on PS5. I mean, I've already been through that. I tried the... First, I tried the Switch version, because, like, that's what I had hooked up. So I'm like, okay. And I downloaded it. And... Like, the demo is, like, like I didn't stream it because the demo is, like, ten fucking minutes long. Not even. It's, like, eight minutes or something. So I'm not going to do an eight-minute stream. And then I'm playing it, and I'm, like, the fucking frame rate is, like, complete fucking trash. So I'm, like, fuck this, basically. And then I'm, like, oh, wait a second. It's probably on, like, PS5. So I put it on PS5, and that was, that was like, fine. So I'll stream it on that. second oh man
getting like fucking stronger. I'm probably gonna die right here. Shit, man. I wish I could just fucking start on eighth. It fucking gets cr so fucking difficult by that point. I'm gonna try this one more time. Fat wallet. Your first drink will be free the next time you enter the bar. Mm. I'll do this. Because I can never afford any, right? Do, 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 do. Thanks, Red Zero. What happened to the ruthless Nintendo from the 80s and 90s? How so, how so do you mean? Ruthless how? You are biased and prefer Sega Master System, but NES has a lot more games. I mean... I like Sega Master System too, but I mean, compared to the NES, it's kind of, I don't know. I think the NES is quite a bit better, but I'll tell you what though, I'll tell you what, I do think the NES is better than the Sega Master System, but honestly, I feel like the Genesis is better than the uh, Super Nintendo, for me, for, you know, I'm just speaking for myself. There's more shit on Sega Genesis that I would like to play than on Super Nintendo these days. So I gotta give it, I gotta give it to Sega. Master System, there's stuff, there's definitely games I like, but... You know, you know where I think the Master System is better though? Uh, the light gun games. I think they have a lot. I have that. They have a bunch more like light gun games that I think are better than on than NES. Fuck. They got a nice uh, light gun library. Mike streams remind me of the TV series still. What TV series? What are you talking about? say Super Nintendo had heavy hitters while Genesis has the overall better library, around better library. Yeah, that's a good way to say it because like, yeah Super Nintendo has got like Super Metroid and Link to the Past and you know uh, like Final Fantasy 6 and like 
they have those big, heavy hitting games, which Genesis doesn't have as many of like those kind of like these big epic games. But then Super Nintendo has a ton of fucking trash on it. Where like yeah, Genesis has a more like solid like overall library. And the, and then the other part of it is I'm a shmup guy, and Genesis is a better system for shmups. So. That's kind of where it gets me. But not just that. Like, there's all there's all kinds of different games on Genesis that are really good and interesting. Whoa! It's not just about the shmups. Like, there's all there's a lot of cool games on Genesis. Oh man. And it's also kind of like the t the type of game too, like you know. Remember when they used to be, be like, oh, well, like N Nintendo is kind of like the kitty thing, and Genesis is kind of the more adult thing. Like going through and playing through the library of Super Nintendo and Genesis, I actually feel like that's true. Like I feel like Genesis has a more adult feel to it with how the game games are. You know, not in all instances, but like, I don't know. I think, I feel like that's a true thing. Genesis is a bit edgier. Yeah, it really is. Mike, let's talk about your beaver. Leave it to beaver? Uh, sure. There was an episode I was watching where uh, Ward Cleaver is out on the back patio and he's, he's making burgers for dinner or steak or something. And then beaver's, beaver's out there and he's helping him with the buns or whatever and then the mom's there. And then the mom's like, where's Wally? And dad and the dad's like, oh, I think he's uh, out in the garage. And then a couple minutes, they have a conversation, and then Wally, Wally comes walking out. And then they're like, Hey, Wally, what were you doing in the garage? And he was like, oh, I was, uh, uh, I found some, some nails. And the mom's like, Oh, that's interesting. And then he pull, he actually he takes the nails out of his pocket, and he's like, Hey, sh look at look at this, look at these nails. And they're like, yeah, that, and then Ward Cleaver's like, those are some interesting nails, Wally. And then they eat dinner. So I think the nails in his pocket were his excuse. I think he was in the garage jerking off. And then when he came out, he had the nails in his pocket as like his excuse. I swear to God, that's an episode. Now who knows, maybe he was just looking for nails, but I mean, how interesting are nails? I, I, like when does it, when did you ever look at a nail and you were like, boy, that's an interesting nail. I'm gonna have to show this to somebody. Like, <laughs> that dude was furiously masturbating in that garage? I think so. I think so, like for real. Find some more nails today in the garage there, Wally? Sure did, Dad, sure did. I used to call it that too when I was about your age. Cool, Dad. Well, gotta go. Oh, where are you going? Wally? Uh, the garage. Oh, have fun in the garage. Let me know if you find any good nails in there. Sure will, Pop. It's a good show. 
Eddie Haskell. Probably too. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I ever saw a furious masturbator, he's the one. <laughs> Why does it say drop and run? I don't know. I wasn't. I don't know. I mean, I was reading my chat. I haven't looked at the game screen in like 30 minutes. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm talking about uh, Leave It to Beaver here. I got other things going on. It's like er earlier we were talking about the shields from Star Trek. Now we're talking about Leave It to Beaver. I get, there's a lot more interesting things going on here. Than... Some people are like, oh, why don't you do a podcast, Mike? This, this is my podcast. Or they'd be like... Or we did, we did it. It's like James and Mike Mondays. Or like, you guys should make a podcast. It is the fucking podcast. Like, that's what it is. It was the fucking podcast. <laughs> you know? Because the whole time... And then they complain. And then they're like, well, you're... Uh, excuse me. This episode's supposed to be about... You're talking about uh, Rocket Knight Adventures. And you had a conversation about uh, Superman. It's like, well, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like we're just talking about whatever. God forbid you, ch you change the subject, like, off of the game for two seconds. And then they're like, why don't you do a podcast? They, like, they, it's like, well, you, so that means you want to hear what we have to say. But if we change the topic when we're talking about, uh, you know, gargoyles on Sega Genesis, then that's not okay. I think people don't even know what they want. This, by the way, this is it. This is the fucking couch. This is the fucking couch, okay? And I'm sitting on the couch. And then the fucking TV is here. But the TV is 15 fucking feet. Forget this wall. That's, that's, or pretend that maybe that's like a coffee table. Here's the fucking couch. That's the fucking coffee table. And then over here, like 10, 10 fucking feet in the air, the fucking TV, 15 feet in the air is the fucking TV. <laughs> People want a bitch. They're not allowed. I'm supposed to do that. They should just shut up and take it. I'm the only one allowed to do that. <laughs> Am I supposed to just stand there like an asshole and watch the fucking thing? No. I'm sitting, sitting down on the couch. Sitting. Right? Because the guy earlier was like, Mike, well, we sit on our couch and then we watch the TV that's above, that is the 15, 15 feet in the air. Yeah, so do I. I sit, I sit on the fucking couch too. I'm talking about when I go over other people's houses and they have, I don't fucking have my TV like that. My TV is at fucking eye level. They, these people have it like this. I'm over their fucking house, and it's like that. And I'm, I'm like, I'm like this. I'm watching the fucking movie. Okay. Yeah, this is great. Tell them to get a taller couch? No! Whatever. We talked enough about this. It's a pet peeve that bothers me. That's all you need to know.
Was an old Mike Matei live looking up at the monitor? No. And there possibly might have been like, I don't mind if it's like, like, I have to look up like, like that much, but like, like if I have to look up like a little bit, okay, fine. But when I, when I have to fucking do this, when I have to fucking go like this, man, when I have to fucking look, I'm looking at 13 B and it's I'm like, I'm like doing this and it's a two hour movie. They can go fuck themselves. You know what happens when they're like, oh, we're going to watch uh, Lord of the Rings, the full trilogy, and the TV is, like, up there? I'm like, oh, you know what? Uh, I'll be right back. I have to go to the garage. I got to look for some nails. Do you have a vertical monitor? The television I'm playing on right now flips in every direction. And I also have a, uh, a PVM sitting here, which I could flip if I wanted to do that. So that could be either, you could flip it. Um, but this TV I'm playing on flips in every direction possible. So yes, sometimes I do streams like that. I'll do the vertical streams. And then people go, why is it vertical? I don't get it. And it's like, because it's an old arcade game. And they're like, what? Huh? Who? Huh? Uh -huh? What? I don't get it. Why would it be like that? Because they don't understand what a vertical like arcade game is. Because all they probably do is watch like SpongeBob SquarePants or like family guy and haven't experienced anything. headphones and walk away. I don't wear headphones. I can't fucking stand headphones. That won't stop me from doing a brand deal about headphones, though. A any uh, any uh, headphone companies want to do a brand deal? This will be me in the brand. This will be me in the brand deal. I'll, I'll have like the fucking headphones. I'll have the headphones on and be like, these new headphones are fantastic. Some of the greatest headphones I've ever used. Every time I play a video game or watch a movie, I use X brand headphones. You should buy them as well. Or whatever. And, and, then, and, then, they, and then it cut and I take the headphones off and throw them across the room. <laughs> and say... <laughs> And then I say, pay me, motherfucker. And the thing is, the headphones are probably fine for people that fucking wear headphones. I just don't wear headphones. So. really close they die much quicker 
I want to do that. I'm going to wait until this guy is turned around. I'm going to gonna go right up to him and blow him the fuck away. Like that. That's perfect. There, like that. That's what you want. Great. This is great. I love this game. <laughs> the close shots are the best. I found a new thing I like in this game. <laughs> to blow them away as close as possible. Like that. Works better, too. Instead of this far away shit. Say that. Up close, that's what you want to fucking do. For any... Steam Deck owners, any good games you can get four or five hours of play on a, on a single charge out there? Oh, for like having it unplugged? Or having like it in handheld mode or whatever you call it? Uh, I wouldn't know because I never play Nintendo Switch or Steam Deck that way. Or Game Boy or anything. I always... Like Game Boy, I have it in the Super Game Boy. I always play it on the television because I have a, a giant fucking television right here. Why, why the fuck would I sit here and play Nintendo Switch on a little fucking screen when I could put it in the dock and play it on a fucking TV? Like, and I remember the commercials for the, um, I remember the commercials and then the other thing is like, well, what if you go somewhere? You know what I would do? I'd put the fucking dock in a bag and bring it with me. And then when I get there, I'll plug the fucking dock in and I'll play it on a fucking monitor if I'm going somewhere. You know? Like. And the Joy-Cons are too fucking small anyway. I've tried it. Like, the only time where I'm in a fucking situation where that, like, even makes sense is on an airplane. So I'm on the airplane with this shit. I'm trying to use these little fucking Joy-Cons that are literally made for, like, a fucking two-year-old. You know? And then I guess you could plug a fucking Pro Controller in. But then I gotta lug around a Switch and a fucking Pro Controller with me. And it's, like, it's like, at that point, fuck that. Like, I just won't. I'll fucking fall asleep on the fucking airplane or something instead. You know? Oh, yeah, and then the fucking commercial. There's that. When the Switch came out, there's the original commercial when the Switch came out. And the fucking guys are on the basketball court with the fucking Nintendo Switch. That's how Nintendo advertises the fucking thing. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're shooting some hoops. Oh, pull out my Nintendo Switch out of my basketball shorts. And here we go. Now I'm fucking playing 1-2 Switch. Yeah, that's fucking realistic. Like, what the fuck are they thinking? Like, who the fuck came up with that concept for that fucking commercial? That's a real commercial. I understand that they want to show, oh, you can play this on the go. I get that, but you don't fucking show a fucking, the basketball court. You show somebody on a fucking airplane using it. You show somebody like, I don't know, but you, not the fucking, how about, how about a fucking swimming pool underwater? Why don't they fucking do that too? Uh, you know, that's where I'm going to use it. I'm going to go to the YMCA under fucking water. I'm going to be playing Nintendo Switch. There's fuck. That's realistic, too. They should have done that. How about inside a fucking volcano? That's what they should do. Oh, you can play it inside the fucking lava. Like, what the fuck kind of unrealistic fucking shit fucking commercial is that? You know, people get bothered by the fucking... Uh, Luther destroys the Gond commercial. I'm bothered by the fucking Nintendo Switch one. Play it on the fucking go. Play it on the fucking basketball court. What the fuck are you talking about?
He never got over the virtual boy. That's what this is really about. What about the virtual boy? What do you mean? What does that have to do with the Nintendo Switch commercial? I've seen people post themselves playing Switch while they're at the beach. Well, at least that makes a little bit more sense because, okay, let's say you're at the beach and then you have uh, an umbrella over you. And then if you don't mind playing it in handheld mode, which I don't like, because I hate those fucking Joy-Cons and I hate the fucking small screen. To me, like, I know you'd be like, oh, it's much bigger than the Game Boy. I don't, I don't fucking play Game Boy, like, handheld either. Like, it's gotta be on a fucking TV. So, but, okay, you're on a beach, you're on your beach towel, you got an umbrella to block the sun out. I can imagine, that's fine. I, I don't, um, I mean, you probably get fucking sand all over it and shit, but I'm not, I, that, would be a, that would be a more realistic place to maybe be playing that, fine. But on the fucking ba basketball court, that would be like the last fucking place I could fucking imagine bringing that, like... This is the dumbest fucking commercial. Umbrella at the beach. Why would you go to the beach if it's raining? Haven't you ever seen a photograph of a fucking beach with all the fucking umbrellas? Because some people don't want to fucking get a fucking sunburn or whatever, and then they're under the fucking umbrella. What, are beaches on, are umbrellas at a beach? Like, you don't, you, is that a new fucking concept for you? This guy hasn't been to the beach, like, apparently. Like, I'm not a big beach goer, but I, you know, I, sometimes I'll go to the fucking beach and the, the fucking umbrella. You sit under the fucking thing, you put your fucking suntan lotion on, and then when you're ready, you know, whatever, you go into the fucking water for a bit, you do that, and then you fucking come back. And then, you know, you might have an umbrella, you might not, but some people bring an, an umbrella and, like, chairs and shit to the fucking beach. And this guy in my chat is like, oh, this fucking doesn't exist. Look at, fucking, go on Google right now. Type in, I'm going to fucking do it. Yeah, like, you just find a fucking picture of like a thousand fucking people on a fucking beach. There's like 10,000 people on a fucking beach with fucking chairs and umbrellas. This fucking guy. Acting like I'm a fucking idiot. One thousand people fucking. But why would you go in the water? Hotel pool is better. Oh, I agree with that. I'd rather go in the fucking cleaner, uh, clean like pool as well, but th this that's a different fucking subject.
。Fucker. All right, so that's four. It's like when I get to the fucking A stage is when I'm gonna be like really fucking careful when I get to start getting to that point. I think I've been been too like I'm trying to go through it too quick. Like that'd be great. If I only had a little bit more. Oh my god. What, you don't like swimming in whale cum? <laughs> right? God, or God knows what else. That's probably a best case situation. Swimming in Wally Beaver's nails. <laughs> I got, oh man, I think it was, I think it was season one. I wish I should have fucking like wrote that down what episode that is. I'm trying to remember what else happens in the fucking episode. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else happens in it. If I ever figure that out, I'll fucking I'll play the fucking clip on here. It's really fucking funny. Gee, Wally. <laughs> it's like so fucking funny. <laughs> He's, gee, gee, Dad, I found some swelled nails out in the garage. It's like something like that, I swear. They're real swell, huh, Wally? Yeah. Yeah, Dad, they're swell. All right, gotta go now. I want to do Max Payne, uh, Death Clonic. There's something else I was thinking of too, I want to play. Was it like, uh, maybe like Gears, Gears of War? You guys like Gears of War? What do you think of Gears of War? I think I played Gears of War 4 or something like that on stream and I like liked it. I never really like got into that series. Is that all like, wait, let's see when Gears of War came out. Cause like, two thousand six. Yeah, guess what I was doing in 2006. Is exactly why I didn't fucking play it. I'm fucking working on AB Gen and shit, and like you know, Monster Madness and all that shit. That whole, that whole like era in there of like games, I missed out on so much stuff from that era. So I, like other people are playing that shit. I'm I was like fucking editing. You know, I was fucking working. So I, like I missed like all that shit. I mean, I played some stuff from that era, but like 
I feel like a lot of people got to play a lot of games from that, like, era. Like, 2006 through, like, to that, like, I don't know, like, 2014. Like, in there, it's, like, I feel like I missed, like, a million things because I'm, like, doing all this fucking ABGN shit. So I missed out on, like, a lot of fucking shit because I was busy doing that. Because, you know, I was playing fucking old retro shit because I'm, I had to fucking come up with shit for the fucking show. You know, so I missed, like, a lot of these, like, games from that era. I mean, I, I, like I said, I played some stuff, but I missed a lot of that. So I'm catching, I'm playing catch up on it. But uh, maybe that's better, because now it's like... I could be, you could tell me now, it's like, okay, what's actually worth playing and not worth playing, you know, at this point in time? Like, what's actually worth going back to, you know? Fuck. Because there's probably a lot of shit where it's like, maybe it was good at the time, but not so much anymore. So maybe it's better to do it that way anyway. Getting pussy. <laughs> I sorry, I, I wasn't playing gear. I was too busy getting pussy. <laughs> I mean, like, sorry, but I'll play it someday. <laughs> Halo three, two, yeah, everybody said like Halo three. That's like the best one. See, two thousand seven. See, there you go. That's why I missed that. So. I need to do it to Halo 3. I, everybody seems to always say Halo 3 is the best one, and that one I didn't play. I played Halo the first. I played the first one when it came out. I beat. I beat the first one when it first came out. I felt like the enemies were really generic. Like I liked it, but I wanted more like. It seemed like you were using the same fucking gun most of the game, and, like, the enemies were fucking really just generic. That's how I felt about that game. And not that I, like, didn't like it. Like, it was fine, but it wasn't, like... It was, like, all right. Hopefully the third one, does that, like, have more going on than it? <laughs> or is it still just, like, you're fighting the same guys, like, over and over? like these same aliens. The level design was sort of repetitive. That was improved in the sequels though. Okay. Yeah, because I need, so I need to do like, that's the best one, right? The third one? Master Chief Collection. I had that. I, I bought that a while ago. I just never... A lot of times I buy games. I have a backlog of games that I haven't gotten to. It's on Steam, too. There's a bunch of shit. I mean, there ha there's a lot of shit that I played, but then some stuff I buy, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to play that next week, and then I don't, and then it sits there unplayed. The kick is like super strong in this, by the way. You like Halo Reach the best of all, but Halo 3 completed Master Chief story. Okay. Well, I don't care, though. I just care about the gameplay. What? Which one has the best gameplay? 
I don't give a shit about his story. What did he do that was so fucking interesting? Yeah, reach around. Oh, he, uh, that's true. That's why I need the. I need to know the whole story because if you know the whole story, you know that he gives. He's the best at giving reach arounds. Okay, you're right. I should. I should know everything about it then. Gotcha. All right, I'm down then. I'm down to know all about the story. You guys know me and stories. I don't fucking care. It's like, I like the story. I like, uh, what was it? Uh, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption. I like all those motherfuckers. Those, that's like the, one of the only games where I'll listen to the fucking cutscenes. make a video game version of Back to the Beach. Could be like wind jammers. Strike. Yo, I gotta do all those. Actually, before I like go jumping into those, if anybody in here like plays like all those games, so we got. Let's see if I can do it. jungle. I did Desert Strike already. That's done. But Jungle Strike, Urban Strike, uh, Soviet Strike, Nuclear Strike. Right. So, is that all of them, or did I miss one? And anyway, out of all those ones. What's like the best one? Is there one of those that kind of sucks? You think there is one other one? Is there a different one? Jungle? A lot of people are saying jungle. Okay. Soviet on Saturn. Oh, that's true. And it's on PlayStation as well, right? Aren't they on? They're on PlayStation, Saturn, and Genesis, basically. Is it on? Are those games on anything else besides Genesis, PS1, and Saturn? Is that shit on, like, PC? I never really thought about that. I bet they are. You only did Jungle Strike on Genesis. I would probably play that one because, like... For me, uh, I always knew just mostly about Desert Strike, and I played on Genesis, so I feel like that's probably the next logical one for me to do. I love my Genesis shit. Shit. There's just something about Genesis that's... Genesis, like, I feel like almost more than anything else, it just has a feeling. You know what I mean? There was no way to explain that other than it's just, like, it's got a unique feeling that, like, other shit doesn't have. And I can't put it into words.
the intro strong intro song for Jungle Strike on Genesis is awesome. I've seen. I don't understand what that means. Does anybody know what that means? Become much more likely to enter a misplaced chamber. I don't know what that is. Does anybody understand that? The Dreamcast also had a feeling. That's true. Dreamcast did does have like a, a very unique feeling to it too. That is that is true. People are guessing that it's a bonus stage. Find hidden areas. Would I want there to be extra areas? Oh, probably to like earn extra money. Because if there's extra areas, then there's like more areas that I'd have to clear out and more enemies to clear it out, right? So more likely I would die before I make it to the boss? Like, I don't know if that sounds like a very good idea. Unless it's just like there's an extra door that has like good stuff in it. So I, I don't know. Um, that could, th and this could get me killed. So like, I feel like this is, I guess, the best choice. That's a lot of money, to just, but it says perfect accuracy. Hmm. I'm gonna restock the bar. I just, I don't think that those are great choices. I still have 645 to spend. Become invisible while rolling. That seems pretty good. Can't afford that. I'll do the invisible while rolling. Like maybe that'll help. Cheshire, it's like the Cheshire Cat, I guess. Let's get that. I, what I'd like to have is like a health, like just like 10% more health, <laughs> you know? Can I just have that? I would have spent $700 for 10% more health, 5% more health, anything. I keep getting like screwed with the, with the bar.
saw that invisible roll. simulator is coming to switch there's like a simulator for everything there was some game and it was like it's like I'm gonna not remember the name of it but you're like in a you're in different trucks like a pickup truck or a semi truck or something like that and you're delivering um, you're delivering shit it's like a more modern game and I was like, I don't know, maybe? Depends what the gameplay is like, though. Random room encounter are called misplaced chamber. Every misplaced chamber contains... Oh... He needs 250 points. 250 coins out of the machine. <coughs> Excuse me. And you will get a new gun or a collectible. Oh. So it would probably be worth doing then. I thought it was going to be like more enemies to fight or something. Okay. So it's like a, so it's a prize. Well, that's, that's probably really good then. Prizes a bunch of nails. Really neat, really swell nails from the garage. I kind of wish that there I wish there was a counter for how many enemies were left like let's say there was two left I wish it would say like two left and I wish hang on I wish it told me what sta like am I am I six stages in am I five four stages in like I don't even remember I wish that would always what if I pause it doesn't say if you do that either I wish that would be on the screen, too. Shit, man. simulator how does that play is it there's just a cat on the screen and it pisses or like oh it's like a litter box and you gotta clean out the cat piss clumps from the litter box that's that is already a game it's on the Nintendo Wii I played it it was uh Per, per pals or some crap. P paw pals. 
One of those fucking things. That, that literally fucking exists. Of course it's on the fucking Wii. What's your favorite Wii game? Oh, I like the Cat Piss game. That's my favorite Wii game. Maljack, thank you for gifting subs to DJ, Get the Ball Bud, Christopher, Mr. Lucky Frog, and I'm gonna say your name is Wilson instead of Wilsor because that's weird. Wilson101. If you guys got a gift sub from Maljack, let him know you appreciate. Uh, let him know that you appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it as well. Thank you, Maljack. Yeah, like the Atari game Shitbox. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good Atari game. I think I have that over there. We got uh, Skiing, Snoopy and the Red Baron, Star Trek, uh, and uh, uh, Sky Skipper. And shitbox. Yeah, uh, that's a classic. It's a good game. I agree with you. Oh, is this gonna be the second boss? I don't fucking know what level I'm on. I'm gonna I think I might have made it. Oh, if I ma I fucking I made it. Do these ever fucking stop? Are you fucking, can you take these out? Oh, you can. Well, I didn't fucking know. I needed to know, well, I, I cleared 10 rooms. Now now that I know that, next time I get there, I guess you have to take the turrets out first if they don't respawn. I mean, at least they made it further. That's the first time I ever saw that. So, I mean, I'm happy I made it further. Before that, I, the furthest I made it was nine. So, that, so there you go, that's the second boss. That's like... So yeah, I guess you would take out the turrets and then shoot the dude. There was just fucking bullets everywhere. Oh, see, I like, okay, they tell you the runtime. You get all the information here. It's like your reward is the information. I wish, like, the, the fucking information was just there the whole time. But whatever, I guess you're not supposed to think about that. Anyway, uh, that's OTXO. It's fun. I, I like it quite a bit. It's, it, it's, as you can see, it gets really fucking difficult, but uh, I would recommend this game. I think it's fun. Whatever. And if you like games like this, there's also uh, Hong Kong Massacre and Hotline Miami and Hotline Miami 2, but I haven't played that one yet, so I don't know. 1,988 bullets fired. Yeah, exactly. You, you need to know that kind of information. 1988, by the way. Good year. Maybe I'll play a game next stream from 1988. Like, uh, let's see. Hmm. What was from 1988? Ninja Gaiden 2, maybe? Let's see if there's any... Let's find some more tips. I've been doing tips out of this magazine. What we got? Legendary Axe on TurboGrafx-16. Okay, I played that game. Let's do that. Alright, so a tip for Legendary Axe. The higher the energy on your power gauge, the more powerful your axe swing. Great tip. That's a good, great tip. These are just the instruction, man. These are just like...
They're just writing things from the instruction manual. Stupid. Wait, let's find another one. Come on, it's gotta be be- Fester's Quest? Oh, I'm reading these. Defeat Mick Wimple. Who the fuck is that? The first alien boss. Oh, is that his name? Okay. You can reach him by going down into the sewers and then coming out the other side. <laughs> oh, that helps. Oh, really? Uh, to defeat him, you have to have a fully loaded inventory of invisibility potions? No, you don't. Use the potions to get near him, then blast him with your gun. I mean, I guess you could try that. You don't need that shit, though. Especially on the first guy. You just fucking shoot him. You fucking go side to side. That's fucking stupid. <sighs> Defeat Zybar. Use a strategy similar to the first one. <laughs> the guy just read the above. He didn't even fucking dude. Fuck you. And who the fuck is Zybar anyway? Okay. Beat. And these are from Fester's Quest. Okay. Beat Troy. I guess these are the names of the bosses. You must take a different approach to have a chance against Troy. Troy has a power shield, so it's tough to hit him with the whip or the gun. Okay, use invisibility. I don't I don't think I did any of that shit. I just fucking shot all these guys. I remember you just fucking like move left and right, right? Like they they fucking like whip twice or something and you move to the left and you shoot them and you move to the right and shoot. It's like I mean, like maybe like I guess you could d use this method. I wonder if it I don't know. Final battle. Your final battle takes place in the alien spaceship. Yes, that's true. You must destroy a main computer to win the game. This nightmare fires la three lasers, two on the bottom, one in the middle. Shoot the bottom two lasers first using your invisibility gun. With the bottom two lasers destroyed, the rest is easy. Destroy the final laser. Dude, this isn't, this is bad advice. Dude, now, the ending, watch my Fester's, if you watch my Fester's Quest stream, that's not what you do. I think it was the bottom right corner. You stand in the bottom right corner and you shoot the homing missiles up and you just keep, and you can't get hit. That's, that's what this should fucking say. Dude, a bunch of people in my chat probably know that too. That's stupid fucking information. What you do, you stand in the fuck, I forget if it's the left right side or the right side, but you stand like in the bottom like right or something and then you just shoot up with the homing missiles and you, like he can't even hit you. I could fucking write a better fucking book than this. Yeah, I don't need to. Just watch my fucking streams. You know why? Because they'll be more in fucking detail than some fucking book and you're trying to write shit out. This is fucking stupid. And this was what I was reading, by the way. Do you want to say? Hot, hot tips. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that's the stream. Um, if you want to see those drawings that I did earlier, I'll put a link into the chat if you're interested. I was doing different box covers to NES games, which I guess I put them away, but you can check those out. And uh, what else do I got for you? What else, what else can I shill? Uh, let's see. Aaron's got a new video out. You should check that out. It's about the last Nintendo 64 games. So you can watch that. Um, let's see, what else can I shill? Anything on my channel I can shill? Um, not really. <laughs> uh, you guys probably already saw I did the Mega Man CX stream. Which, that Mega Man CX game, if the guy ever updates it, I think that, like, that game would be cool if you could play as a robot master the entire time. But the fact that you're, like, gray Mega Man, I don't know. It just seemed like kind of a mess. But anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you for now. Guys, thank you very much for watching. That's the stream. Thanks for the subs and stuff, and I will see you next time. Probably maybe that Contra game. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.